Hey, welcome to the TCO 19 Algorithm Finals. We're here live. I'm here with Lewin, LG5293. We're about to get started about 15 minutes. Um, let's, let's take a quick look at the finalists. Yeah. Uh, wait, we need to switch. Nick, can you get us a finalist? Yeah. The finalists? The finalists. Or just like show them. All right, we started on Wednesday with 16, and now we have only eight. We had two semifinals, um, four out of e the eight of each advance. Sadly, I was one of the ones oh, yeah. who did not. But not. yeah, so, so as far as our eight finalists, um, we have Yegor from Russia. Yeah. We have... Uh, Lyrically. Lyrically, yep, yeah, from Japan. We have Tourist from... It's actually it's kind of funny, most of these are on the bottom yeah. row. We have Tourist from Belarus, right? Mm -hmm. Yui from Japan as well. MNBB Mar from Poland. Piotr from Russia, I'm Nick from Russia, and then finally XUGYH from China. So, yeah. pretty interesting group of the eight finalists, I think. Yeah, um, so do you have any predictions? Or? So, I have a lot of predictions. <laughs> I don't know, maybe do you we think we should we'll get into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, we can talk about it a little bit. But <laughs> who, who would you like see winning? I mean, so, I'm a big fan like of XUGYH personally. Um, I think that, uh, yeah, he's just, he's got a really, really well rounded skill set, and I think the way that he solves problems is fantastic. Um, Tourist, obviously hard yeah, to obviously. imagine <laughs> a scenario where Taurus isn't a serious contender. Um, Piotr also very strong. I, I would say that those three are the big favorites out of these eight right now, but yeah, I, I really think that any of the eight could take it here. So, yeah. Cool. cool. Yeah, so we're going to get underway in just a bit uh, with the... Uh, with, uh, bigger uh, intro of the eight finalists but yeah I mean for now so so as a as a writer yourself just tell me about the like what's what's the writing writing process like for TCI um, so usually we propose some problems and then uh, we choose problems so it's kind of the same as in a regular SRM I mm -hmm. guess um, like we do have some backups in case some things don't work out so we actually did have to use that yesterday mm -hmm. um, but yeah I mean the process is pretty similar to like just a regular SRM like you try to balance the difficulty, uh, try to choose the right topics and like the right spread of topics, um, and all that mm -hmm. stuff. So, what what makes a problem not work out? Is it because you you find something that makes the solution wrong, or is it just that it's not the right style? Um, so it's either so sometimes the solution is just not right, and like you have to toss the problem. Mm -hmm. Other times it's like the style doesn't quite fit, or like maybe the solution is just like too hard to implement, or like very like too tricky. So like uh, Top Coder has a format where um, you don't get full feedback, like you only get the samples and can only yeah. test on that. So some problems are like not as suited for that type of format. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, and, and just a quick overview of the contest format for today. Uh, there's two main phases. The first one is a coding phase. So there's three different problems, an easy, a medium, and a hard. The contestants can work on the problems in any order that they wish. They can jump back and forth if they'd like to. Once they submit problems, their score on that problem is based on how long it took them to solve that problem. Uh, they get to test submit, they get to test it on different cases, the examples or their own created cases, but they don't know for sure if it's going to be correct in all the cases until later. Um, so that's the coding phase, and that lasts 85 minutes. Afterwards, after a brief intermission, we have a challenge phase, which is 10 minutes long. And so during the challenge phase, contestants get to see each of the other contestants' submissions, right? And so they get to see all the solutions that everyone else wrote. And, and if they think that something's wrong, then they get to show, show, like, uh, submit a challenge case. Um, and if that's successful, then they get more points, right? So it's kind of a combination of a lot of different skills, obviously. Um, algorithms and problem solving with code is, is the biggest one, I would say, but also a lot of um, strategic understanding, right? Which problem to go for at which time. Um, and also, like, uh, just the, being able to understand other people's solutions quickly, being able to think about... Speed, yeah. speed in general. Speed yeah, in general. Speed yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and the, thinking then during the challenge phase, sometimes you get s several challenges in first seconds. Yeah. yeah. I mean, to be honest, I, I think that's why you know, like a lot of people say TCO algorithm is is, is one of the most exciting uh, contests to watch, and, and that's because partially of the, that yeah, speed aspect. That, yeah. Challenges. I mean, within two hours, we're going to see so many, so many different changes to the scoreboard. All right. So a lot of interesting. Uh, contenders here, I think most of the, the top, top contenders are going to be in this finals. And I mean, two of the big names that always come to mind are Taurus and Piotr, right? Yeah. Um, and so, um, so I think we're going to yeah. switch to showing the finalists on the screen. Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so. Cool. Yeah, so, so we're going to jump to a, a live intro real quick. Introducing our algorithm virus! 
from Germany, Igor. From Japan, Lyrically. From Russia, Piotr! All the way from Belarus, Tourist! Hailing from Russia, Omnik! From Japan, Yui! And from China, X-U-T-Y-H. And so we're about to get underway. It's going to be, I think, about five minutes, or seven minutes before we start. But yeah, I mean, one of the big strategy components that we talk about is which problem to yeah, which problem. Uh, so, so tell me a little bit about that. Uh, so the most standard strategy is, of course, going easy to hard. Um, mm -hmm. Usually you don't know how much time will take, and sometimes the hard might take a lot of time, so you just want to solve easy, medium, probably. Mm -hmm. And going in that order optimizes that. Um, some other contestants, usually from Japan, open the hard first. <laughs> and um, I mean, I think the reasoning is like, you get some time to think about the hard, um, and while other people open the easy, you can kind of gauge the difficulty of the easy. Um, yeah. But you do have to make a lot more decisions, like if you want to switch or like when to switch. Yeah, and um, Arisha was talking a little bit about that yesterday, that yeah. like one of the toughest decisions is you're working on the hard, you have some progress, but it's it's not enough where it's you're 100% like sure yeah. that you're going to get there. And so then at some point you have to make that decision about, you know, do I keep going with the hard and try that, try to make sure I get this problem? or do I just give up here and try to go for easy and medium while I still have time? Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you expect the, the contestants to, to, um, uh, to, to start this time? I mean, I expect probably most people would just open easy to hard. So like yeah. easy, medium, hard, usually you don't have to make tough decisions like when to give up because like you know you're going to your problems and increasing order difficulty. Yeah. Um, but I do expect like maybe um, some contestants might try to open the hard just to like see if they can get it fast and like increase their variance and like getting first because like right now the only prizes are like the top three right so like it doesn't right. really matter if you do well you have to like do the top three yeah that's a good point and also i mean the first prize too so the first prize is ten thousand dollars and, oh, and yeah. it's, it's much that's, larger than second or third so yeah. i think um in the semifinals we were talking about like you really want to have a more consistent strategy, especially if you're one of the stronger contestants, yeah. right? You want to make sure that you get in the top four so that you make it to the finals. Um, but today's the finals, and it's, it's, it's almost like a, a winner-take-all. Like, yeah, first place almost. is a big, big difference yeah. here uh, in most of these contestants' minds. Yeah, and yeah. it's also like the title, too. Like, you want to have the title of, like, being the winner, and that's pretty important. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot more pressure to, like, do... Uh, number one strategy versus just like a top four strategy. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting too. I mean, I, I think uh, MMBB Mar, for example, this is his first TCO finals yeah. um, or his first TCO on site at all. I want to say that he's the only one here, but we actually do have uh, like several of these contestants yeah. that have actually um, won I think TCO. Yeah, Ui is also a first time. Ui is also a first time. Yeah, yeah makes sense. Um, but, and but on yeah, the other we, hand, you have like yeah, Torres, yeah. Piotr. Uh, X U D Y H, like yeah. all contestants. They've Yagor all won TCO well. before, We've so it's a pretty TCO. tough field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I mean, I think skill-wise, it's honestly it's it's reasonably close. Like, I don't think we would be too too shocked if any of these eight yeah, managed like, to pull it. It could really be anybody's game. Really. Yeah, like, but I, a lot I think of unexpected things can happen. Especially especially in the finals, and like you know when you're sitting there and the room, there's so much pressure, right? Yeah. Like I, I think it helps different. a lot to have that experience of having been in that yeah. spot before. So, yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, when we were talking about Taurus and Piotr being two of the biggest ones, um, yeah. this is just a, a quick They're look at their They're ranked one and two on top coder right now, um, in terms of rating. Um, so yeah, it looks like head to head, Taurus has a much higher percentage winning. So I think this is like over the past um, year of SRMs, um, of the SRMs that they competed in, how many times Taurus placed above Piotr and vice versa. 
So it looks like Turris has a pretty big advantage yeah. over Piotr. It's uh, pretty it's pretty crazy to see, yeah. by the way, the bottom row TCO finalists. Like, this is Torres' oh, yeah. seventh time yeah, at TCO finalists, right? And this is Piotr's eighth. Yeah, and um, they've been members for like over 10 years, too. So this is yeah. like over 50% like participation rate. Yeah, like, yeah and the rate. consistency, right? To yeah. be in a the top of 15 or the top of 12 or, or 16 or whatever it is yeah. each year to, to, to make it. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's crazy for yeah. sure. Cool, 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 cool. Um, so it looks like we're starting about three minutes. Um, yeah, I don't know. Any thoughts of like how, what you think like the panels list are thinking through at this moment? So, the big thing I think is is staying and calm and collected. Yeah, like right? any pre contest rituals that you might do. Pre- uh, so I have a lot of pre contest rituals. <laughs> uh, I mean everything around you know like how I prepare in the morning or what I'm thinking through in my mind. Like I put out all of my clothes the night before and so on, just so I don't have to make that decision. Right. Um, what I eat for breakfast. Yeah. And so so yeah, a lot of a lot of like mental preparation essentially just to make sure you get into the zone and be ready to roll. Um, I think as soon as the the contest starts, first of all we'll get to actually see the problems. So that's oh yeah, we'll have the problems uh, soon. Um, yeah, and I think right behind us you can see like the screens of the competitors mm-hmm. and like some people pulling about. So like each of those TV screens shows like the screen of one of the competitors. Yeah, um, and, so and we'll be jumping in for a close. Yeah, we can also you know, like cycle through the screens from, from, from these contestants. contestants. Screens. Yeah, 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 for sure. Cool, cool, cool. About to get underway. Two more minutes. Yeah, two more minutes. How do you feel actually about uh, listening to music during the contest? Uh, for me personally, I, I like to listen to music. I mm-hmm. feel like it's not too distracting, I guess, for me. But yeah. Um, it helps me like just focus more, I guess, or like organize some of my thoughts. That's cool. Um, yeah. But yeah, a lot of the other competitors seem to be like choosing playlists and stuff, or at least like that's what yeah, I saw yeah, yeah. when I was like walking around. <laughs> yeah, I, and I mean it's like uh, I think someone was joking that uh, they have a seventy-five minute playlist. <laughs> oh yeah, the, just for, for top t- footer. Top footer rounds. Yeah, exactly. And so then the TCO is actually eighty-five. So then it finishes ten minutes early, and then yeah, they're, they have you to know, like just listening to, to nothing. static for ten minutes. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I, I think it's like it's really whatever makes yeah. you comfortable, right? And, and yeah, I think true. for me, I often um, like, like yeah, I actually often like to just keep it to, to just headphones, so no music, and to just uh, have like stay, to to think on. <laughs> yeah, for sure. that's true. Cool. cool. like less than a minute to go um yeah i guess what else we yeah i mean i'm excited to get into it i'm also excited honestly to, to just get to think about the problems oh, I mean, right, what, yeah, we, what we'll we did yesterday yeah. was pretty cool so so i mean you and uh arisha obviously are both writers for for this tcr and yeah. i think you you guys have both been pulling a lot of effort to, to set up all the problems to come up with really creative problems and so on um, and it's pretty fun yeah i mean to, to just get to, to see the problems live and try to, yeah, to get to so, think about them. so yeah i mean i'm gonna work be be trying to, to, to think through these problems okay. as well probably primarily the 250 because i think that <laughs> the medium and hard might elude me this time but yeah. uh yeah yeah i mean i think it's gonna be fun to work through those with the stream yeah so i think Five maybe seconds. we can see yeah. like the scoreboard too because the points are not usual in this round yeah Oh, um, really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's take a quick look at the so round. Round 2019 Top Order Open Algorithm Competition has begun. We just got the started. The voting phase of the contest will last 85 minutes. Good luck, competitors. And so, I mean, I think it's pretty interesting because the <laughs> very first three contestants open three different problems, right? Yeah. One a lot of people are medium, starting with medium. the medium, actually. Uh-huh. And I think that's not that's not common, right? Usually the theory yeah. is, like, you do but, either easy I mean, or hard. But you can also notice the points, too, right? Mm-hmm. So the easy problem is worth 350, which is much more than a normal 250. So mm-hmm. that suggests that the medium and easy are a little bit closer in difficulty. So yeah. maybe, like, you only have one time, time to solve only one of them and then also solve the hard. So mm-hmm. that might be what they're going for. Solving the medium is more valuable, so that's why they open it first. Yeah, makes sense. So at this point, all eight of the contestants have opened 
a problem four people on the the easy three on the medium one on the hard yeah. right um i think pretty much other than the the, the shakeups of the 500 it's roughly what we expected i think lyrically especially <laughs> yeah lyrically to always start with the 1000 so, so nothing too too surprising there one strategy that we have talked about in the past actually is waiting for a minute or two before oh, yeah. before opening, you open the first just so you have a little bit of knowledge of when yeah. you expect to submit exactly and in particular like your time on the problem is based on when you how long it takes you from when you open to when you submit right yeah. so if you start two minutes later on the easy then what happens is as soon as you see it, another contestant submit you can submit too and then your time is like one minute better yeah, better. or something like that yeah, yeah do you want to, let's, let's jump yeah right we can into jump the into the problems yeah. so can i can the, start the with the 350. I'm coming um, in totally blind. Too, okay, so, so I think Erecto <laughs> is um, helping format the statement, so we'll have a link in the chat soon. Um, but yeah, I can try to explain it. So the 350 is a problem that I wrote. Um, and basically, the situation's a bit hard to explain, but it's based on a game. So um, are you familiar with like auto chess games? Not too much, no. Okay, so basically in auto chess games, like you can buy units and okay. um, in this case, in the problem, we are given cards. Mm -hmm. And um, when you buy three of the same unit, they combine into like one super stark unit, and then like you get a stronger upgraded unit. Okay. So basically, in this problem, we'll just simplify the model a little bit and use cards. Okay. So you're given deck uh, with N suits and K numbers. Okay. Um, so basically, you'll do this process one draw a cards randomly. Mm -hmm. um, so this deck has n times k cards, one for each suit number combo. Um, so uh, basically, there's only one card for each unique suit slash number. OK, yeah, um, so there's nk cards total. Yeah. yeah, so you draw a cards. Um, if you have three of same number, mm -hmm. Uh, you stop and like you just exit the loop. Okay. Otherwise, uh, while you have greater than B cards in hand, uh, discard a card and like put it back into the deck. Um, okay. So basically, you're given N K A B, and you want to know what's the minimum. The expected time for you to like get to step two and have this winning condition. So sorry, explain step three again. So while you have more than B, you just discard. Like you, do you, you just choose discard? one card. You choose one card in your hand and put it back into the deck. Okay. So you always have at most B cards in your hand. Um, at most B. Yeah. So only in step three do you discard. So you discard down okay. to B. Oh, I see. So so okay. So you pick up eight cards. Yeah. If you have a triple. Then you just stop right there. Yeah, and you can have more than a triple. You can have like four or five. Doesn't matter. It's sure. at least three. If you don't have a triple, you discard A minus B at those cards. Or? Um, well, A could be less than B. So like, if you have more, like you keep the cards in your hand. So like, this is like one step. Then the next step, you get like another A cards, and then you have to put some back in the pool if you have more than B. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. So, so sorry. Sorry. So this all loops to one. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. you keep this. <laughs> And this yeah. process, like one sequence of these three steps takes like one second. So you want to know what's the minimum okay. number of seconds needed. I see. And you're assuming, presumably, that you play optimally. Yeah, you, you play optimally. Right. You always discard optimally. I imagine that the right decision, and you, when you discard, you put it back in the deck. And yeah, you put it back in the deck. So okay. the deck always has at least a... Cool. So, so I think a um, quick way to boil the state down is, first of all, like how many cards do you have, right? And then out of those cards, how many pairs do you have? <laughs> Pretty much, right? Because yeah. if you if you have three of a kind or more, then you're already done and you're already good to go. So if you don't have that, then you either you 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 just have some combination of singles and pairs. Um, yeah. And so the number of each that you have is pretty much a good approximation of your state, right? Yeah. So then you pick up eight cards and you want to think about the probability that those that one of those completes your hand. Yeah. And. Um, I mean, we, we can probably compute that, but it's like uh, <laughs> it's a little like, bit like it's just it's, some it's a little messy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's there's you have you have uh, k minus two cards in each of the ones that you have a pair in. So let's say you have p pairs. It's like p times parentheses k minus two, right? Yeah. So any of those cards would immediately win you. Or if you picked up a pair for a card that you had a single on, or if you picked up a triple, right? Yeah. But if you 
you you figure out not only the probability that you win immediately, but also conditional not winning the expectation of the number of pairs you have, right? Or, or yeah, maybe something. the distribution of the number of pairs you have, something like that. Yeah, so if you do some DP, you can like find out, given some set of cards, like if you win immediately, or mm -hmm. if you need, like how many new pairs you can create, and like what you discard back, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, that's basically the idea. I think the idea for this problem is like you do this DP, and um, you can like solve it uh, you're, you can get the expected value from that. It's just, the trouble is just like finding those exact formulas and like making sure like everything works out. Sure. But, that makes yeah, sense. the yeah. idea of it. What is, are the bounds on nk? I think they're up to like 50, so this is like 50. Okay, so all of these are 50, which means pretty much anything polynomial will. Yeah, anything polynomial will, will get by. Be yeah. Fine. yeah. Uh, exponential solutions, not so much, but yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. So, so, so your state is something like the number of pairs you have, the number of singles, and that's. Yeah, not that and much. Then and then the what you store in that DP value yeah. is is like the number, yeah. like the expected number to finish. Um, and is there just some order that you can proceed? I think there is, right? Like you can just solve the. I mean, there might be some cases where you just don't get, you don't make any progress. Yeah, you, it's possible to not make progress, but that but like, you can this just means you multiplying something by one number. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, you take the probability. The number of pairs always yeah. increases, like through. The process. You don't need to use Gauss right. el elimination. Yeah. yeah, and the it's number of cards is also like, it's either just going to be B or it's going to be one of the multiples of A below B, right? At yeah. some point it'll just be B forever. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, so, right. So I, I think that you can just, uh, like, you could just solve it in order, right? There's no fancy like. Yeah, you just solve it in uh, uh, decreasing order pairs yeah. or something, right? Because like you know the answer if you have like, uh, your hand is full of pairs and so on. And then yeah. Like anyway. decreasing order of number first, and then decreasing order of pairs, and then you just solve the states. Yeah, and the number of states we were saying is on the order of like two thousand, right? Yeah, it's on the uh, order of n squared. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So I, then I usually solve something like this forward that I define state of DP as probability to get to this state, and uh -huh. then also EV. If I get to this state, then what is my EV of like number of moves or whatever we need, yeah. and that works as well. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, yeah. the number of moves to get to the state. Yeah, I see. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. I think the idea for this problem is like pretty simple, but like uh, the coding could get a little bit messy, especially with the formulas. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, like I had some bugs when I coded my solution, <laughs> even though I wrote this problem. Yeah. But, uh, so, so what do the formulas like? Is there are there nice observations that you can make that break that down further as um, far as how many pairs? So you're basically, get or... um, the main thing to do is uh, you don't care about states that make you win immediately because. Um, or you don't care about transitions that make you win immediately, so that simplifies the number of states you need to look at. Yeah. Uh, because like those always just lead to like one step in the future. Mm -hmm. um, so really, there's only like three cases. Um, so there's like you get like I think you mentioned it before, like you can't draw any cards that you have pairs on. Mm -hmm. You can only draw most one card that you have singles on, and you can draw like one or two cards from um, the yep. leftover ones. And then so if you like fix a, those, then it's just. I'm like actually not sure. Way. Like so, so the first thing you have to do is you have to compute the immediate win probability, right? Like from yeah. a certain state. Well, I mean, you don't need to worry about that. So like that's, I think like that doesn't contribute to your expectation value. Oh, you can also draw cards one at a time, right? Um, I wanted to do that. I don't think that's the same, or maybe it is. I'm not sure. Like you need to be a little bit careful because um, you might discard a card that you could have made a pair for. Temporarily, we allow exceeding value b. Well, so it's just you, you that draw those, ca those new, new cards that we draw, oh, yeah, yeah. we okay, do them one at, at, at a time, and the current state is like the number of singles and pairs. Yeah, know? it's okay. yeah, it's the number of singles, the number of pairs, and like the number of cards draws you, you need yeah. Yeah. until you have to I, remove. I them. didn't implement a solution for this problem, but this is how it I would do. Yeah, I think that should work. To avoid so combinatorics and yeah. formulas. And it might make the state like cubic instead of having nasty combinatorics, That's but honestly, I, mean, I think fine, the state right? is yeah. still n squared because like you always have a fixed number of cards to draw for a given number of pairs and symbols. Right? Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. like we were saying, right? Because it's yeah. multiples of a, and yeah. then at b, it's already squared. Yeah. yeah. That's actually interesting. Yeah, it doesn't even change the state. I mean, yeah. I guess to be fair, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It does right. add another dimension to your DP, so you might need to use more memory or something. But like, I don't think that matters. But that yeah, I mean, if yeah. it's fifty cubed, you're totally. Uh, okay. Yeah, drawing them one by one is definitely a lot easier to like deal with. I like the one by one a lot, yeah, because yeah. I mean, it's just like at that point, then your state is very clear, right? You either get something that's on your pair, and you make a triple, and you're done. Yeah. Or you get something that's on a single, in which case you make another pair. Or you get something else, and then yes. you get a single. So so, yeah, the probabilities are very, very Just three possible easy events. Uh, just x over the number of things that there are. Uh -huh. Yeah, right. cool. So that, that is simple. Um, 
Yes, yeah, so that's 350. Um, I do expect some contestants might submit soon. It's been about 10 minutes, so mm -hmm. yeah, I don't let's know if take we can a look cycle through some of the people. I, I'm curious to see the MMBV more screen. I'm oh. sure you are too, Arisha. Yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> so this is Tourist. He's working on the Easy. Uh, he opened the Easy first, so yeah, it does look like he's coding the Pretty much along the lines. And um, Int is usually a struct like a wraparound for, mo for values modulo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we use modulo here because the pop up can get pretty small. Yeah, I actually used a lot of Gennady's book as uh, like as my own essentially at some oh, yeah, point. So like, use and then also. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so often you want to come in with some amount of pre written code, right? And yeah. obviously that can be from you or from other people. And like um, Gennady's tools are just very effective. So I, I wanted to learn how to use his, and, and it's pretty interesting. Yeah, MN is, is exactly what you guys are saying. Um, I imagine you want to return the probability as like a number, a fraction yeah, modulo. Yeah, you want to return modulo. Because like with doubles, like the number gets really small with mm -hmm. some downs. So it's easier just to do with doubles. Yeah, uh, with yeah. The and it also modulo. prevents people from trying to hack around and, you know, oh, yeah, get the small. I, I see one issue with name mint that it's very easy to make a type and just use int. Instead, yeah. Oh, yeah. If, yeah. if I you use that, that, I would for sure name it differently, not mint. Yeah, instead, I know some like people uppercase use, like, M, for example, and that's it. Just yeah. M? That's, yeah, yeah, it's reasonable. I've, I've heard people use, like, M num, and then num is not a, oh, a name, yeah. but it's like it's still obvious what it means. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so. Because mint is too close to int. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool, yeah, let's take a look at uh, MMBB more yeah. screen. So it's like, he hasn't... <laughs> Coded that much. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, he can implement very fast, but he doesn't like DP. I think that DP, especially multi-dimensional DP, is his worst area at, comp at all. Mm -hmm. So now he <laughs> wonders how many dimensions he needs. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't finish <laughs> initializing sure. DP. Yeah. yeah, and he's, I think, just thinking good logic. Yeah, he's yeah. Still thinking it's good. not a good problem for him. <laughs> ah, so you're. S Think he'll struggle with this. So this is. Uh, I would give him a suggestion. Just start from med. Oh, yeah. Do you think he, sh he should just move on from? Easy? I mean, I mean, no, he after he it? opened it, sure, he should solve it. Yeah. But like before but a contest, before sure, a contest, sure, if sure, he knew sure. categories, he wouldn't start with yeah, easy. Some I see. Know. I see. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of an interesting question. Is like, what would happen if we had basic categories for each thing before you open the problem? Kind I would like... start with hard. In uh -huh. that case. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, just I thought category. you always start with hard anyway. Well, I mean, <laughs> that's this, this category is good for it, so <laughs> we'll, we'll see soon. But the yeah. uh, cool. card just from the statement is obvious that it's uh, geometry, and from drawings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's geometry in the heart. Yeah. Then I think for from name, is it cut into six, something or like cake, that? cake for six. Cake for six. Yeah, okay, that's, it's that's not too obvious. It's for that sounds pretty You can scary, guess yeah. the statement from <laughs> I, cake into six. I'm already ready to already move on. Like so, actually, do I actually oh. came in with oh, the 500? So let's take a look at the screen real quick. Yeah, we can look at his screen. Yeah, we do expect challenges in medium, right? Oh, okay. yeah, we do expect challenges for medium. Uh, he might be testing it. Uh, I, I'm not wow. sure. There, there's a lot of different approaches for this, so like, I can't tell if it's correct or not just right off the bat. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm surprised how short the code is. I, I guess we haven't talked about the, this problem yeah, in particular, but um, it does seem to be one of those problems that's like, you, you need to figure out the idea and the core of it, and once you do, it's actually very straightforward. Yeah. Um, we, we see only a part of the solution here because uh, he runs function solve that will do something yeah. recursive, I think. That should be above, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if he something. <laughs> I think so he might have a bug. Yeah, he might have a bug. But he's still submitted anyways. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I mean, his, his submission <laughs> didn't contain that comment, so maybe the submission is wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's correct. Yeah, maybe Just so, the comment. I mean, usually, obviously, the easy is called the easy for a reason, right? It's pretty surprising to see a medium before get solved easy. before any of the easies. Is that is, is that uh, um, shocking I mean, to you guys? I mean, I expect or the medium could be solved fast, but you could just miss some edge cases and mm -hmm. then just fail. Yeah, um, yeah, so really makes unclear. sense. Yeah. I think that, yeah, I mean, to I, be like fair, the easy is like definitely very doable. Like once you have the right idea, you just need to like code it out, and you can always make progress through it. Right, but that's a, that's a common route too, where the medium is like either you solve it quickly and you just have it. And the it thing with medium is that this is your your problem, right? Yeah. I and Mike we tested that problem, and we both think that it's quite easy, but we both took like more than half an hour, I think, to solve it. Uh -huh. Just before including wrong uh, submits, right? And yeah, including wrong. Yeah, oh, yeah. That there were some small issues, no, ju just to get accepted. Mm -hmm. uh, analyzing something, maybe during a contest we would be faster and we would guess more, but analyzing maybe we can uh, I save one more move here, maybe we can 
maybe this is wrong, something like that. Yeah. And it took me actually almost 50 minutes to wow. get accepted, even though I know that looking from looking at the solution, now I know that on a good day I would solve it in five or ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and it, my, like it was the same for Mike. Uh -huh. He also took a lot of time. Yeah, I think the, the 500 and 701 is kind submitted. of like that too, right? Easy. Can we see his screen? Because he yeah. still hasn't opened any other problem. Yeah, he just submitted the easy. So like, yeah, the easy, he opened it quite a bit before any of the others, I guess. Or like, yes. is that? I wonder that if That must he... be the case. Did he resubmit? I don't think so. I, I like thought that early. he had opened it later, but maybe he resubmit. Yeah, maybe. can we take a look Very at Taurus' cool. screen real quick? Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Still, we'll, the, we'll the med that, that medium yeah. submission is faster than easy, like, proportionally. Yeah. But we saw from a comment that <laughs> I didn't correct. By the way, it would be funny to include in your solution a comment like shit or to do, <laughs> yeah, yeah. change that. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> to, throw, to, to, the to, yeah, to, to phase, throw your right? opponents off. We were talking about this this morning that, uh, you know, if you want to, you could, you could submit all these kind of like tricky submissions so that people are <laughs> spending time on your code rather than other people's yeah, you're code. Trying to find your and then so you, you get, get to spend all time on, on the mm -hmm. challenges. Maybe it's good to give one random person plus 50 in order, in order to give yourself more time during the challenge. Yeah. Beginning of the challenge. Especially if you expect it to be I mean, fast. Like, like in, in semi-final one, it's like 30 seconds or three challenges already, right? So yeah. you can imagine how much impact like having a little more time. <laughs> Like yeah, I mean, it looks like we had a resubmit also for the medium. If you can switch back to the scoreboard. Yeah, let's see. Scoreboard, and then I think we want tourist screen. Yeah, so yeah, I guess he fixed this bug and yes. resubmitted. So, okay, that's yeah. interesting. And I mean, after the first one, he made the submission, right? But he stayed on that problem. He didn't open anything else. So uh, maybe he had a guess that there, there could be some is problems. looking at his solution. Now just he's opening just Verifying like with his eyes. Right? Yeah, probably just making sure. Is looking. he the only person to name file easy.cpp instead of <laughs> problem name.cpp? I mean, I could in the, in the editor. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't even name it anything. Maybe. I, I may be the only person who does that. Maybe either. he doesn't use any tools? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Does he? I'm not sure. Maybe he does. Yeah. Uh, does, does, does this look correct to both of you? Uh, you yeah, it looks like it's well, It looks like some combinatorics. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if it has some something like this, it's probably correct. Yeah. <laughs> Hard to figure out the details exactly. I wonder which uh, problem he's going to open next. Right? Whisper to admins. <laughs> I, I might want to ping some organizers to answer questions. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, okay, yeah, I guess we can move on to the 500 point and talk about that one. Sure, for sure. A bit. Yeah, let's jump to the challenge. Um, yeah, so um, the 500, it's based on like a game. So like, imagine you have a board with empty, base, empty spaces, uh -huh. and you have two players, okay. and they have some tokens on the board, so like, let's just say it looks like this. Um, and it, um, So player A starts first. On a player's turn, they can move one token that they own, left or right, one mm -hmm. space, and the space has to be empty, mm -hmm. and whoever can't make a move loses. Um, so basically, um, okay. yeah, that, that's one part of the problem. So um, now let's say like, you're player two, mm -hmm. and you know the configuration of A's on the board already. Okay. You can choose some number of tokens and place them on the board, and you want to force the win with the fewest number of tokens. So what's the minimum number of tokens? And there's only A's on the board, is that right? There's only A's yes. on the board. Right? And now we need to place as few B's as possible. To force the win. So sometimes force the win for player B. Yeah. yeah. So sometimes this game can go on forever, but you just want to be able to force the win. Um, uh -huh. It's right, and given a starting position, it's always possible to force a win. I because guess the you simple can thing, feel you can everything. everything. Yeah, you yeah. can just fill yeah. in yeah. this. And then board. the other player starts. He cannot take. Yeah. He cannot take move. Maybe. Okay, cool. So, so what I'm thinking is, um, a lot of it comes down to parity. So the first thing, if you have three of your tokens uh, in a row, you have at least one space in between them. You can never lose, right? Right. Because you can always, always move middle inside that. that like nook that you have, right? Yeah. So basically, if there's ever, um, like for every three A's in a row, either there has to be no space between them, which is obviously possible, or uh, B has to cover at least one of those nooks. So this is a bad situation, yeah. and then instead you need to put a B you have for to sure. Put, yeah. yeah, between here. Yeah. I think it's possible. So it's possible to be like, like let's say that there's two gaps, like a dot a dot a. Like you don't have to fill both, right? You can only fill one, and I think it's okay sometimes. We uh, analyze okay that sometimes. for some time. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, I think you don't have to fill them in, but uh -huh. I think 
in an op in any some optimal solution like you do you totally think um, if the whole string is just a dot a dot a dot yeah. then you fill all the gaps uh, unless you, like there are more dots than a's if first is dot and last is dot then you don't have to fill both mm -hmm. but let's say the first character of string is a mm -hmm. if the input is a dot a dot a mm -hmm. then you need to fill both gaps okay it's something sure. like that. Yeah. So, so what that means then is that, okay, so, so every gap between A's, as long as there's, I guess, pretty much, yeah, every gap between A's has to be filled with at least one B, right? That's, That's true, what we're saying. but so this then, is not every. Of course, it's not sufficient, yeah. yeah. Uh, at that point, then, I think it comes down to parity, right? Uh, I also thought so, but so. it isn't true. <laughs> I mean, still, it's important that there are some blocks. Because w what we know is that for between every two A's, yep. that there are some dots in between, we will put at least one B. Yep. So uh, if there is like, if there is A, A, then somewhere here we need to put at least one B. Yep. Uh, we don't have to put like five B's, that would be stupid. Maybe two, maybe three, maybe one. Mm -hmm. But the question is where, when one is enough and when not. Right. And then it turns out that also it's important how many A's there are in this block and in this block. Yeah, so if you have three consecutive A's, you want to be able to block off both sides because in the first move, player A can move like one of their ends to the right yeah. and make that like situation. They, they, oh, from AAA, a, yeah. they can move to this bad situation and in they the very first right, move. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. for sure, you, you need to, to... You always need to block both consecutive blocks to the main. And even more, I will say that those we cannot move at all in the future. Yeah, the first if time you, you move do, those, then they will respond. Exactly. So yeah. those are like I thought about them like just splitting string into something because yeah. we're saying this cannot be moved. So let's so just, just solve the problem points. for this part, for that part, actually, or just here to the left, yeah. uh -huh. without even this so B because actually, it's a wall. That's actually a really move. nice observation because now we can assume that there are never more than two A's. Yeah, exactly. Like of one yeah. Exactly. And I spent a lot of time analyzing what happens for two A's in a row. Yeah. Lewin, was it easy for you to handle <laughs> that? Uh, I mean, not really. I think there's some case work that you need to do, but um, yeah, it, it's a little bit tricky because I think for blocks of eight, two A's, I do block them off too. Yes, um, me but too, but it's hard I, to show like why. I understood that after 15 minutes. Yeah, like, <laughs> it, it's hard to explain like why this needs to be true though. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, so for like, if you just have a single A, right, yeah. you really only need one. Like, you, you can put one here because like... As soon as it moves, you just yeah, push you just, it Yeah, you just follow along, right? So um, for one, it's like a little bit easier to analyze, but like... So you push it along, but for example, let's say that there's just another single A on the other side. Yeah. Or on, the on the left, on the left. Oh, on the left. Then, I mean, let's so that, that oh, middle A moves see. right, right? And then you move right with your B. If A's are not dense, uh -huh. if they are not consecutive, and generally the string is long, then the answer is the number of A's. Because yeah, you yeah. just want to, let's say, put B on the left from every A, and that's it. You yeah, will just, you just push A's oh, to the left. Oh, on the left, I see, I see, I see. Or yeah, you yeah. can do right. So you can do yeah, the right. Of course you can do a direction, but just you, have to, you have to do all of them in the same direction. So just, yeah. th this is not true when for example, some A touches the wall, or you cannot touch something, put uh -huh. something because you touch the wall. Uh -huh. uh, you need to think about it for a moment, <laughs> but then it turns out that just counting those A's doesn't work only in a case like, uh, I think it is A dot A dot A, something like this, yeah. where three B's three are enough, enough, because you yeah. just... So you can say that for every string like this, the answer is minimum of the number of A's and, yep. and the number of dots. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there's uh -huh. some Are there cases so where it's more than the number of A's? Um, I want to say no, yeah, 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 because whenever there's a single, you can always put one to the left. And if whenever there's two, there's you just two or more, then you just block both sides, right? Sure. So, OK, cool. So I, I mean, okay. I imagine that so there's more to the, yeah. the hard thing still to do is to analyze to do the analysis of what happens for those two A's. Mm -hmm. Some intuition, I think, is that if you don't surround them with, with B's, then one of A's can move away from the other one, mm -hmm. and you need to push it anyway. The final state, when the opponent doesn't cannot okay. make a move, yeah. it for sure will be those two A's that are next to each other, yeah. again, maybe again, after they weren't, yeah. and your B's anyway surround. 
yeah. as well you can do that at the, from the very beginning a medium by omnic yeah so this looks i don't know if this is a recent mate or maybe it's just like he took a lot more time on it uh this, this is about 25 minutes in right well uh, we see that, that looks about right we started from the very beginning and has 330 okay. so omnic looks like a submission yeah, unless like he waited for a long time but yeah. i doubt it it's might be a recent i mean mate. unless oh we wait um, but it looks yeah, like I right after really opening the right medium, yeah. uh, people have moved on to the hard. Uh, yeah. Because like it looks like a lot of people are still working. People on are the struggling with, with the, the easy, right? Yeah. So yeah, I mean, totally makes sense. Plus, I mean, if, if your goal is to win, right, and you have to put as much yeah, variance medium as possible, hard is much more valuable. You really need to try to get the hard problem. Yeah, I, I think Taurus. I mean, it seems like he's confident enough in the yeah, easy he's that he's moving on. Do you expect there like are the samples? comprehensive on the easy, easy or um, do you expect there to be challenges? They're there? pretty strong, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, there, I don't know if there's any tricky cases. Like there could always be overflow that, um, yeah. in unexpected ways that we don't catch. But mm -hmm. I don't think we really have. Like I think the samples are pretty comprehensive. Okay. So you think easy samples probably pretty strong. Medium, medium maybe not so much. And yeah. It medium like is. We've seen yeah. The samples here, right? of for the medium are pretty weak. So there are mm -hmm. a lot of edge cases that people could miss. So we could see a lot of challenges on that. Um, yeah. We can move on to the one thousand next. I started preparing a drawing. <laughs> Uh, Scott, what do you think about this drawing? What do you think the statement is? I'm already <laughs> scared and basically just terrified. It sounds like the most geometry, geometry problem ever. But yeah, so go ahead. Uh, is it, you said the name of the problem was something like... Uh, it's called Cake for Six. Cake for Six. Yeah, well, what do you think this drawing represents? I think you have a... Uh, oh. <laughs> you, have a, you have a polygon. Yeah. Yes. You want to split it with three lines into six areas that are equal. Yeah, yes, exactly. that the areas the three are lines have to be so My drawing same. doesn't show that exactly. And so we, this point should be a common intersection of, of all three lines. Otherwise, we don't have six areas. It yep. will be some different number. And those six parts that we get, each of them should get the same area. I think for my drawing, this one is a bit smaller. Sure, but sure. let's, but let's, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> let's uh, take the artistic liberty. Yeah, yeah so and interesting. So each, each line that we draw has to split it in half. Right. That's right. Yeah. So That's right. presumably, I, I think that that means that the point that we choose has to be the center of mass. Although it sounds actually. I not. also <laughs> thought so. I actually don't. Yeah. Now that I think about that, that is not. That is not yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. But uh, we can talk about intuition. Yeah. So. Okay. Right. So so think about it this way. Like imagine you have a point, and you have this line right at a certain slope, and you're you're moving. You're kind of rotating the line and looking at what it does, right? Then what we're saying essentially is that we have to have rotations, different rotations at this point that cut off into the equal size areas. Um, yeah, it would be nice to have that, to have this very special point such that when you rotate the line, mm -hmm. it's still, still so going you know through the point. point. Is, if you know what the point is, then the answer is easy. Yes, but if you think about it for a bit longer, you will understand that this point doesn't exist usually. I think it exists if and only if the pairs of like um, opposite segments are parallel to each other. It's some kind of symmetricity. It's not just that the uh, polygon is yeah, symmetric, yeah. The, but the if the slopes here are different, the, uh, then right. when you rotate the areas, will change differently on those two sides. Only some very particular polygons so, ha uh, have such a point. Right, so the points that you hit, I mean, why does it need to be... Okay, so put it this way. So, each slope, yeah. for each slope, there exists a particular this, like, this is true. line that splits the, the polygon in yes. half, right? That's correct. It, and it can be a case that the first line is, say, like this. Mm -hmm. Second one, if you rotate the direction slightly, is like that. And then the third one is maybe like this. Yeah. So they and, don't have to intersect. And you have two issues now. One is that you need to find three lines that <laughs> they intersect at one point. And then second of all, you need the areas. The extra is, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So even if you find some some three lines that intersect at one point, yeah. like say like this, uh, maybe like that, those six areas are not necessarily the same. Sure, but it, it doesn't have to happen because of parallel opposite yes, sides, yes. right? It the, can be like... The lack of parallelity just means that there is no point that you should find and just you know that lines will go through that point the intended solution doesn't just find a point that for sure will 
Oh, I see. Be in the solution. You're Instead, just it just finds lines in some way. Interesting. That's for they need to intersect. But and maybe you can tell viewers how to solve this problem for just one line. So, given a polygon, that that would be a subtask. Yeah. Uh, say that this is polygon. How so to find a line that splits the given polygon into two parts of equal area? So is it always the case that a solution exists? Like for two parts? Or for, for six? six. Does for the six? problem ask to the, I think the statement says that it can be proved that the solution always okay. exists. So it, can, it, it does tell you that And it from this exists. you can yeah. guess that the, the way the intended solution works it can be proved that it will always find. It's not that we try to generate some random <laughs> yeah, lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I imagine essentially is um, you have, uh, like you, you rotate this line. So, so if you have a fixed line, let's say yeah. in this case it's a vertical line, right? Then you sweep forward yep. and then you process each of the points and you know the total area and so on, right? So yeah, you can easily right. calculate the point at which um, the line splits it into even area. But how to find this point? How to do it? You could just binary search. Yeah, I would binary search indeed. And, and then you can just I think use it the helps to, for the area in order to do binary search, I first find the leftmost point, the rightmost point, mm -hmm. and, and like just binary search I kind of range. binary search just in this part. So the polygon is guaranteed to be convex, right? Yes. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little bit worried for a second. But yeah, okay. absolutely. I mean, at this point, then you know that the upper and, and lower envelope have to be both. Um, like increasing in x coordinate, right? So it's easy to find the segment that it stops on, and then it's easy to compute these coordinates, and then you just issue a laser. It's cool. Yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, because I also thought that center of the mass is important here. Yeah. Let's give an example that first it, it won't be convex, uh -huh. uh, but an example that shows that center of the mass doesn't split into two equal areas. Sure. Let's say that. Well, uh, mass is balanced by like. It's balanced yeah, it's by torque, doing. which is distance rather than equal. Let's say parts. that like it's, it's not uniform length, the right? drawing That's is why. something like this, uh, like that. Center of the mass is what here, mm -hmm. but there's no. If line you do this you split, really yeah. then things on the right are twice bigger. Yeah. But the thing is that this is further away. Yeah, yeah like, so, so like the, the physics... Yeah. So center of the mass is not important. The physics intuition is like you want the area to be uniformly weighted on exactly. it, but right now it's weighted according to distance. Because yes, it creates the, the thing is that yeah. if you want to balance some object on a point, yeah. then it's important how far away some weight is. Yeah, whereas to here it's all equal. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, okay. So okay, right. we so, solved so the version for... For a particular well, sub, we can find... Yeah. The, the line. So now we want to find three lines. That Maybe first two lines. <laughs> that would be the next step. So we can do two in lines and split it into four. So I think I can do that. <laughs> yes. But are, are you sure it isn't that easy? Let me think. Uh, uh, I mean, I was thinking that you would just binary search on the slope of the next line. Mm, Something along those lines. Yes, it's a tar it's a ternary search. Uh, I mean, like first it's a ternary search. Actually, it's a binary search, but uh, because we can say which part is bigger. But oh, sure, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you want to do directedness okay. on the sign or oh, anything, yeah. you can right, make it yeah. work with binary search. But yeah, ternary yeah. search is probably easier because... We can say that the first line is just vertical. And then if I say that the slope of the second line is something, yeah. say this one, then I can independently binary... I can independently find what diagonal I get from this direction. Yeah. And then I compare the areas. So is it obvious that... And MNBVMR submitted easy. Is it obvious that this function is bitonic, actually? Uh, it's, it isn't obvious that it's bitonic. It's obvious that it's contiguous. And from this, you will get... Like, it's, it's negative I guess first. It's, yeah, yeah. If, the the difference... Is it obvious that it's monotonic in... The oh, difference it, it, A minus B is first yeah. negative, oh, yeah, yeah, then at the end positive, and yeah, then it's and continuous. It's continuous. Okay. So yeah, That's I use somewhere... I've, I believe that this one is monotonic. Uh -huh. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but because at some point in the solution, we do use this kind of binary search where you don't know that something is monotonic, but you know that it's negative, positive, so somewhere in the middle it crosses zero. Yeah. But this one, I believe that it is. It isn't trivial. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. 
makes sense. Yeah. And so, I mean, this we're talking about one fourth area here. Of course, if you want to, you can do the same thing and just try to make sure it's exactly one sixth area. It's also That's possible. true. Yeah. Maybe first I mean, a moment about the wrong solution. Yeah. Uh, that you can think about. Uh, so just so, so viewers would see something that is incorrect too. <laughs> uh, there is some idea that maybe we just take we have the shape and we split with vertical line into two parts mm -hmm. and then we split with horizontal lines into two parts mm -hmm. and we hope that we have four equal parts and let's see example where for sure this is not true let's say that i take yeah i mean it's, it's a rectangle like take a but then move some part like this one up here then still <laughs> So yeah, I add it same. say here. Of course, like you I can make it convex, or something yeah, yeah, yeah. like that, or like in a non-axis oriented ellipse. And then you yeah, know, yeah. if I split like this, then I still need to split at the same point. Uh, but no matter where the vertical line will be, here, okay, there, whatever, equal. those two parts below will never be equal mm -hmm. because I cut some part out. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, but now we have six parts, and you said something very important. That is here. What we try to search is such such a second angle that this part is one fourth of everything. But also we can do it for yeah, one we, sixth. We can do one sixth. I mean, the problem obviously is you could try to make a third line that splits those, but it's not going to be the same. Line. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah. You, like have you have to have it go through this. So I, I think I see where this is going. So so essentially, okay, can I have the pen? Yeah, sure. Essentially, um, I think about it this way. Imagine you have this point. Then you have a slope here on the right half that splits this into one six and one six, right? And you have a, a slope here on the left half. And you know, if these slopes are the same slope, then, then, then that's a line and you're done. But uh, I want to say that you can essentially just search on the slope of the first line to find something like this as well. I believe that what you said is in some way equivalent to our solution. I mean, it's just a different idea. Sure. Uh, we should do something like this. What we do is, we find, so we search for this one six. Maybe a new drawing will be nice. Uh, so we have the first line. Let's say that first that it's vertical. Yeah. We search for such a line that here we will have one six. And this is the intersection point. We search oh, for such I, a line I I see that yeah. that this is. All of that is two six, or the below is one six. Yeah. And this is the other point. Yeah, but now two those two points, say A and B. Yeah. If you rotate the main line slowly by angle, These eventually they will swap. After well. you rotate by 180 degrees, yeah, they exactly will be exactly. opposite, and everything is contiguous, so they must meet. Ah, uh -huh. I see. I see. What is the runtime of this? I feel like this is like log cube or something ridiculous. I think right? it's log yeah, cube. Have you to have to sweep the yeah. You have to binary search each one, right? The first one and then the second one and underneath. Yeah. But you also so have to have, like sweep. We have the, the ang angle one, angle. so this is one binary search. Okay. Uh, uh, you can maybe do log squared actually. For this, you have the sum of uh, then you are searching for this one six plus two six. Here, every term means some part of the algorithm. Yeah. And for each of those, also for some angle, you need to be able to binary search this <laughs> diagonal yeah, that yeah. will give you this <laughs> angle. Yeah. So this is the other binary search. In total, it gives us O of log cubic. And it will get, oh, we have easy plus medium. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, so while we've been talking about the hard, actually, Taurus has just been going on both the easy and the medium. Maybe so, you can look at his screen. Yeah, let's take a look at his screen. I mean, he hasn't submit the 1,000 yet. I don't he think that's too surprising. It. Or sorry, he hasn't opened the 1,000. Um, Max is 13. I Does have it to look imagine like that he's, yeah. he's trying to test. It looks like he's yeah. just writing brute force. 3 to 13 is complexity of brute force. Uh -huh. But mm, I, because I like the strategy of opening hard first, I hope that uh, maybe he will not have enough time for hard. <laughs> then, awesome. the, you know, the, the contest will be more interesting uh -huh. if everybody yeah, yeah, starts solving, but a, not ev not nobody solves everything. I, I think one thing that definitely does tip in his favor, right, is that the easy problem is worth more than usual. So it's it's three fifty instead of two fifty, yeah, so which means that easy that plus medium is more likely to be enough now to beat hard. But, uh, but yeah, not I mean, to beat, for example, hard and like, not, one other not problem. Not going to beat hard and easy. But maybe. Or hard Maybe it turns out that hard, because hard does require a lot of time, there's a lot of implementation there. Just even just searching for that first diagonal for some angle, it requires uh, intersecting 
diagonal yeah. of assembly line with a polygon. Yeah. Nothing there is hard, but still, polygon yeah. is something yeah. that is circular. A lot of effort so effort to, to work through. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's easy to. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and I mean, honestly, I think testing the 500 makes sense too, right? He saw that the other contestants had to resubmit, and probably he knows that the samples are not very strong. So I think it helps a lot to have that. It's, it's hard here to make some analysis that you are very sure about. Yeah, that's true. Uh, here um, we have Piotr. Uh, still working on the easy. Still working on the easy. easy. Yeah. Um, well, easy does require time. Yeah, he might be almost done. It looks like he has most of his DP, so it just depends on whether he's passing the samples or not. We see verdict okay in <laughs> 0 0.001 for one of the tests. <laughs> it's probably just the first test, which is, uh, doesn't really tell anything. Yeah. Um, maybe we can look at some of the people working on the hearts also, like their three or like CDYH revenue. Yeah, so this looks like a lot of geometry code, right? I, yes, I think I see does. some, yeah, that's a there binary, some search binary search searches. at the bottom, right? Yeah, um, yeah it's, it's, uh, it's going like to be hard to say because I mean, I think most approaches to this problem, both <laughs> the correct and the incorrect ones, re revolve around some amount of polygon geometry and binary search, right? Yeah, and a like lot of this already has like almost we, 200 we see, lines. We see one third in code, and that's a very good sign. <laughs> one third, yes. A third. May, maybe not meaning that uh, she has the intended solution because the, <laughs> the problem is about one third yeah. of something. <laughs> and it's not like binary searches, also. I mean, you use a lot of binary searches, so you don't know if like this is like yeah. the one, but like, which one it's yeah. saying. I think if binary searches aren't nested one inside the other, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> because it looks like independently searching for one line and the other. Here, uh, mm, Gal yeah. is function that, that is run inside one binary search. So, so already here I see log square, <laughs> which is a yeah. good sign. <laughs> <laughs> and we That's see cut one. in line. 408, Something 407. else I, I want to point out briefly is that uh, we're looking at him typing on line 438, which presumably means that there's, there's <laughs> yeah, quite a bit so of much, boilerplate code. Yeah, a lot of this. boilerplate yeah. code for ones. <laughs> I see here log cubic, which is the, what is the intended complexity. Mm -hmm. What is n? Is it... Uh, it's only 50. Okay. And the, yeah, yeah. And the uh, time limit is bigger than usual. I think it's four Same seconds. Four seconds. Uh -huh. So you should be good with 50 times log cubic. Yeah, it should be good. Even if yeah. you're... And if you do, like, library isn't very fast. Yeah. It should be totally it's, fine. It's all yeah. fine. Yeah. And Fun function do it. He was working on 500. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it looks like he's game. passing some of the test cases, but not all. And maybe yeah, trying to figure out what exactly is going on there. And one more test to one go. One more, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit dangerous to just... Oh, this oh, is a test that sense. also I failed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we added a lot of tested samples. Yeah. I think they're not super strong anyways. L.L dot L is one of those <laughs> tests where you can easily return two yeah. instead of one. Uh -huh. well, you can always just You, can, you have only one dots. spot to put your own token, but my solution oh, said two. <laughs> Yegor? Yegor, I think, still looking at the easy. Yeah, de de debugging funny. something we see on the yeah, right, a lot of variables. A lot of debugging. Yeah, and then if we can just jump back to the, the overall scoreboard. So at this point, it's it's uh, about halfway through, a little bit more than halfway. we got about 40 minutes left. Um, Yegor and Pyotr, both very strong contestants, but they're in an interesting spot now, right? Because yeah. they've spent so long in the easy. Um, I, I think it looks like both of them, like, it seems like they, they feel like they're pretty close, right? Because they have something that's okay, either somewhat buggy or something. We are exactly right. in the middle of a contest. Yeah. yeah. And solving just easy right now means that you need to be faster in <laughs> exactly. some other time. If, if also, it takes 40 minutes for the easy, we saw nobody that, solved hard either yet. We saw that Lyrically is close to solving hard, likely, Yeah. but also not with that good score. This yeah, is so not still less than yeah. score enough to beat easy plus medium. At this point, either XUGYH or Lyrically, their, their 1000 alone will be enough. Can XUGYH we get, has a 500, Can we get uh, screens from Umnik and XUGYH? Uh, it will be nice to oh, know. Uh, XUGYH. Yes. Second and third place. Yeah, so XUGYH is, is working through the, the log cube still. Yeah, this was uh, the one we were looking at earlier. So, oh, but this was, was this one where this I said it's log cube? cube? Yeah, this was yeah, the yeah, one yeah. you okay. said that. I, I think this, okay. this, this one Then it might be a nice score. The most yeah. progress so far. He has a lot of boilerplate code. <laughs> okay. And Umnik? We see some he's copy still leaving some code. Maybe he's still okay. leaving for the unused code Maybe. rule. <laughs> yeah. So I think so Omnic is still thinking through this problem, which yeah, I mean, makes sense. Started. He opened it the latest of these three that are looking uh, at it. So this this problem should involve a lot of 
uh, drawing on a piece of paper. Yeah, so for sure. he's probably not, we're not going to see that and much action. We see a nice feature here in tools in Arena that is score that is displayed on the left. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> if you, you tilt your it head, down. 712 points. Uh, I heard some, uh, somebody was confused, uh -huh. some of our viewers. The, can we get the leaderboard? The thing is that you see some scores that do not change and some that decrease. The thing in top coder contest is that you don't see all the problems immediately. There are three problems and you can open one of them. And once you open it, the timer for this problem starts. And the, the later you submit, the less points you will get. And the points that we see decre being decreased uh, mean that this person works on exactly this problem right now. And at the moment when they submit, it will be their score. Like right now, if Xudich submits 1,000, they would get 618 points. But the more time they spend, the less yeah. points. And so that have. goes down, and then and once those, they submit, it's logged yeah. in. And Something blue, else. Yeah, blue points that don't change are those that are already submitted. Still not necessarily correct. Yeah. Right. They are responsible for testing their solutions. And we will have challenge phase where they are responsible for testing all the solutions. <laughs> and something else to mention is that um, you can leave a problem without submitting it. And if yes. you do, then your timer still ticks down for that problem. Yes. And I mean, so we were saying for, down for, multiple for some of these contestants problems. that are only... It isn't a good thing to medium. jump to another problem and yeah. then back to the first one. Yeah. Right. And in this case, I mean, it's possible they might have to, right? If, if you're a Yui or if you're a Piotr right now, then first of all, the problem that you're on is taking you a long time. But second of all, even if you get it now, it's really not going to mean that much for the scoreboard, right? It might make sense to, to, to go for the Hail Mary, to try to jump and get the 1,000 or something like that. Um, you want to do it early when possible so that you have yeah, enough you time to work on the problem, right? Early. If you give yourself 10 minutes for the 1,000, you know, you're probably <laughs> not going to make it work. Right? Yeah, let's take a look at MNBV Mars screen. He's been working on the medium for a while. Um, but still with quite nice score, more than 400 if he submits yes, now. Yes, that's correct. Uh, but we see here a brute force, yeah, uh, like map brute force. from string to, to yeah. results. So it looks like he's just starting with the brute force, maybe yeah. because he... But br brute yeah. force is a good idea, actually, because you can just adjust your solution. Yeah, it's you, much faster You, you just agree. skip the, all the analy analyzing of tests. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just find a counter test, make an if for that, Run your do you think that so, so with for the brute force you can solve all n up to like ten or twelve or something like that? Yes. Yeah. Do you think that if if your solution matches the brute force for up to ten or twelve, that's enough to be like pretty yes. much yeah. hundred percent? Usually, equal. there's yeah. not really any global state, so it's very like local, like what you do. Unless you have right. errors related to like two related small to arrays, yeah. overflows, <laughs> but they are not. In yeah, this problem. the length of the array is on, like up to two thousand, but like mm -hmm. I, oh, the length the array is up to two thousand. Yeah. Interesting. It's, yeah. it's one of those problems where if you pass small tests, you will pass everything. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. You pass I mean, especially tests. because I think that the approaches that come to mind, like, it's hard to think of a polynomial approach that's going to be too slow or something like that, yeah, right? Yeah, that's because, true. Like you said, it's so local. Yeah. Uh, so this is literally still coding on the 1000? I want uh, to say that I don't like this code. For ARIA, <laughs> I would create a function, <laughs> get ARIA, because I think we will usually hear find area of polygon more than once. Mm -hmm. So there will be some copy pasting there. Uh, it's, it's easy to miss something. Yeah, the, if nobody solves hard uh, with good time, well, okay, they can solve hard with bad time if they have medium. <laughs> I just wonder who can like, overtake tourist and how easily. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because he has a nice I mean, score. Still well, has I, I he solved part. easy and medium like fastest. In each of those by the way, just to, to take a look, so Piotr actually jumped off the easy and opened the hard. And Yegor and, and has just opened, opened, opened medium. Yeah, opened so, medium. Both gave so, out so both of those two, yeah, I mean, I think at this point, you know, if you're one of the contestants who started with medium or started with hard, easy is not easy. an exciting problem to look at, right? Four, four contestants took a look. Gennady, Torres, got it pretty quickly, and then Vivi Mar got it with a lot more time, and then two of the contestants didn't get it at all, right? So yeah, it, it's, it it's uh, good I think it's the right choice for them, for sure. I mean, you have to make moves and you have to make something happen, but for, for the other contestants looking at thinking about whether they want to do the easy, it's a, it's a big difference. We are getting distracted by somebody <laughs> yeah, from the club. So, uh, so we see that Piat switched to Hart and is now reading the problem. Statement. Yeah. Maybe let's jump to tourists' screen to see so if he's still testing. Maybe we'll see some 
maybe he asserts made failing. <laughs> that that would make the contest more interesting. Yeah, I mean, I think it's very possible, right? Like, I, I imagine that he has a brute force by now, and the only reason he wouldn't move on is because it's not working. Yeah. Um, so I think there's a good chance here that he has some 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 cases that his his brute force doesn't agree with. Assertion failed. Yeah, we saw that. But, but uh, that I could think, just be assertion with. I think he has else. just. Uh, corrected something in brute force. Yeah, he's fixing his brute force, which <laughs> might he might be just like double checking it, right? Um, it might cost him hard. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. Might not I mean, in, in this it. case, may, maybe it won't make it. Assertion fails. It's hard to see. Yeah. And I, I think what this test is, uh, do we see? Do we see some test here? Uh, not sure how to parse <laughs> what is. I'll, it's I'll hard dot. to see what exactly. <laughs> I think he turns over all masks. So I saw dot, then L, and so on. And for L dot, it's the think in the bottom that we see or if he swells out <laughs> <laughs> he's not going to show us the bottom of the screen yeah. but yeah I mean, it's should it's we a, go it's tell him to, to, to scroll down <laughs> it's a common problem right that uh, you want to to write a slow solution to check that if your fast solution is correct but of course if your slow solution is wrong then yes. that doesn't give you the right and you're just wasting so. time but <laughs> at least he already submitted so his score is locked it's just that if he finds a mistake and he resubmit he will be hurt a lot by that. Instead of yeah. uh, 300 watts, uh, points, he will get 200 or so. Yeah, much, yeah, much maybe like 380. It's, it's it will get, be down can, to 250. Can potentially or. push past yeah. it. I think it might be even be worse than 250. Yeah, because uh, it should be. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and I mean the other, of course, the other trade-off that you were saying, Camille, is is the time that you spend checking the 500. You could be looking at the 1,000. Yeah, it's so. only 30 minutes. Isn't a lot of time to solve one 1,000 yeah. point. Mm -hmm. And literally has had it open for almost an hour so far, right? Like right. Almost 50 something minutes. Right. Still hasn't solved it. Yeah, let's take a look at XUDYH's screen again. Yeah. I think he was almost wrapping up at that point. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, some emojis. Putting some emojis into his code. <laughs> um, he might be failing some of the samples, I guess. Because, like, it is a lot of code to write before you can actually check if it, like, or not. We're, we're seeing a compilation. Yeah, so he might be running it. Make files would help. <laughs> yeah, he's just typing it by hand. LDB is some kind of GDB to find errors. What is that? <coughs> I don't know this too. Yeah, this but yeah, we like see. GDB. I guess we see either something to print debugs or just something that finds an error. Yeah, it looks like he's printing the variables uh, as he's running the code. Um, yeah, so he probably has some bugs somewhere. But I just noticed, by the way, that the output format is uh, you output a point and then you output three angles. Yes. Yeah. So it's almost like baiting you into thinking that you should be finding the point first instead of the point. <laughs> that's, yeah, true, that's, that's true. true. Yeah, yeah. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> but it's indeed the easiest possible yeah, output you can find. Yeah, numbers. yeah, yeah. It feels intuitive, right? They all intersect at one point, so tell us that point, and then everything else is fine. Yeah. It would be interesting to just require that middle point because actually the problem wouldn't be easier, I think. Just it if would be slightly easier to retrieve the answer, we right. construct it, but, but then the judge I, I think it would make the problem harder because, because everybody would think, would think that, that the goal is to find, find a simple point. point. Yeah. Oh, and so regarding the center of the mass, when I got this problem for testing, it was marked as division one easy, just by <laughs> mistake. It is problem made by Mishov again. Uh -huh. And uh, the thing is, if you when you create a problem in top coder software, by default it's marked as easy. And you have to change it. From easy. And <laughs> after you already submit and save and it's turned into testing, something like that. Yeah. If you want to change anything other than the statement, for example, category, like difficulty, like the, you would yeah. need to also add the intended solution because otherwise the system will scream at you <laughs> as the intended solution and some tests. Uh -huh. So he couldn't change the difficulty. He I didn't told, yeah. tell me about it. <laughs> I thought that I'm getting division one easy. And uh -huh. I, after three minutes of solving, I said, OK, easy center of the mass. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and he said, no, nope. and this is not an easy problem. Uh -huh. <laughs> And is it because he didn't have uh, his own intended solution, or, or yeah, yeah, because he, he, a, he was a yeah. proposal he back was then? Just like, yeah. I see, I see, I see. <laughs> so I would give my feedback. Uh, Lewin, you have a quick question, which is: Do L and G stand for Lewin and Gone? <laughs> oh yes. So in the second problem, instead of A and B, I use O and G. So yeah, they stand for my initials. What are the What are the two names of that? Uh, Lucas and Greg. <laughs> I see, I see, I see. And you you wrote both the three. Yeah, I wrote the me easy medium this round. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. Yeah, I mean, I think like it's kind of funny. We have a little subculture just around like 
problem writers and the writer's style, right? They have a writer who always likes writing problems about a particular fox or a particular bear. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. it's like sometimes when you open the problem, you already know who the writer so is. So the thing is that my my easy from yesterday initially also revealed the author because it was about bears of three types yeah. polar brown and grizzly <laughs> uh -huh, and the, prob the, the problem the problem was called diverse uh, pbg oh you have small and large bears and yes small and large <laughs> bears that you want to arrange into diverse teams yeah uh, and but then i changed it into diverse flowers just be so while for my standard rounds i leave the, the like limac or bears uh -huh. uh, for TCO I didn't want to reveal the author I see, because I see. also there is a participant that knows me so also knows my topics or preferences more That's about fine. what I yeah. use in solutions in problems yeah uh, so it's it's supposed just a little bit if you know the author. yeah, just yeah. To, it helps a little bit to, to, to be more but if I that. gave that for standard round it would be still diverse I remember budget. a problem that you gave actually about polar bears and that I really liked, that was the tournament where they play. Yeah. Oh, Gr yeah. Grizzly beats. You find the yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, exactly. I, I was a big, that yeah. was one of the regular rounds, I think like a month ago or something like that. Yeah. But it's, yeah, it's I actually was, one of my favorite like problems in a while. I also like that problem. <laughs> but there were a lot of unexpected solutions there. Uh -huh. Yeah, if we can just jump back right to the, the scoreboard and see what's going on here. Um, Nothing is going on. <laughs> yeah, we have so far five submissions, and it's only 30 minutes till the end of the contest, which means that the problems are hard. Yeah, <laughs> unlike yesterday, where yes. a lot of there was three people who solved all the problems, or yeah. four people who solved all the problems. Yeah, we, we still can get people solving all the problems, yes. but it's not <laughs> very like a lot more still unlikely. hasn't opened the 1,000, so he's still debugging mm -hmm. his 500 or his brute force probably. Can we jump to his screen? Yeah, tourists. I, I would guess that. If something is wrong still in his brute force, then he should already abandon it and try to go for 1000. So because maybe. everybody with 1000 will beat him. Right? Yes. I mean, I, if with 1000 1, and something yeah. else, but a lot of people that work on 1000, they the are. People who you would expect to get the 1000, yeah. I mean, x 2 for example, is a prime example. Um, but there's people that work on hearts from the very beginning mm -hmm. and still nobody submitted. Yeah. It looks like he's failing. He's printing a case he's failing on, maybe. That disagrees. Uh, or, zero, uh, one, and two should be things. Um, yeah, yeah I, I mean, I think so. Obviously, if, if you know your 500 is wrong, you should fix it, right? But I, I think, even regardless, I think this is a pretty good strategy for Gennady for a couple of reasons. The first thing is, like you said, lyrically open from the beginning, right? It's been an hour and she hasn't solved the 1000. Yeah. So it means that, first of all, you probably will get, get it in 20 minutes, but also it might mean that there are no 1000 solutions. Uh, this is Do we see some scoring. testing? Uh, yeah, testing uh, in... Progression uh, error. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Oh, not uh, equal. It does not work. It's, yeah. It will be a bit hard to debug. Yeah, it's hard to debug. Sorry, <laughs> a little bit hard. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, it won't be a little bit hard. <laughs> <laughs> Something like this is very, very hard to debug usually. It, that, because of that, it helps a lot to have some, uh, it's called usually team reference document in ICPC, some library with library with templates, at least gives you one and a lot, you of, right. a lot of functions for geometry, like rotating by angle, computing angle, yeah. uh, s intersecting two lines even. It's very easy to make a mistake there. Because like you guys are saying, I mean, at this point, if you're trying to debug, it's like maybe the first binary search is wrong. <laughs> But maybe, maybe the first second, one was wrong. Maybe second, second, maybe first. Maybe, maybe I need it's the polygon. Maybe, maybe I need the, the fourth po then, binary search. Yeah, it could be, yeah, yeah. <laughs> could be anything. Uh, this is stable moving. Words. What are we looking at? This is 500. Um, so th okay. Igor gave up on the easy and did not do 500. So he hasn't had it open for as long. But um, yeah, I'm not too sure what he's trying to do here. Um, he doesn't have that much code. I guess. Stable moving, he might count else that are surrounded by dots and those that are in blocks something like that mm -hmm. maybe yeah that's true um, yeah he is counting like the prefix sums but actually mag uh, initializing something as max value means that he wants to take minimum of something yes what that's might true. mean he overcomplicated the solution mm -hmm. yeah if he like tried to find the find the smallest block that something because he thinks that there i will save a move We we see cache, what means I guess the brute force. Did he submit uh, his medium already, or 
Um, is he just testing before the submission? Here, brute force might be useful even before finding, before, e before implementing anything. Yeah. Because it will give uh, you patterns. Yes, and this looks like a brute force, so. Um, yeah, he's had it open for a long time. Though, yeah, so. it's, he's had it open at this point for a long Look at the name of the so. function, Lewin. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll, I'll Lewin. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he realized that. Yeah, maybe he doesn't notice. Because it's like L an L wins. <laughs> <laughs> Lewin. <laughs> You should have called one of heroes Lee as oh. L E. Oh. <laughs> when, <laughs> when Lee wins. <laughs> oh, when Lee wins. Yes. Yeah. Too late. Maybe, maybe next time I make a uh, token game. MNBV Mar. Can can we get screen from MNBV Mar? By the way, I think at this point none of the contestants are working on the easy. Right. We have two contestants with an yeah. open easy that's unsubmitted, but both of them have left and are working on a different problem. And so it seems unlikely anybody will actually go back to it because I've, it's not worth as much. Yeah. So Taurus actually finally moved on, which is interesting. Okay. I mean, we were saying maybe his 500 is wrong. Or maybe he fixed his brute force. Or maybe he just he, gave up. He didn't resubmit, so... Yeah. Yeah. So maybe that means it was correct after all. Um, well, I, I don't think he has maybe enough can, time to possibly yeah, solve 20 minutes for this kind of problem is going to be tough. So, yeah. um, I mean, we can look at his screen and see if he's still reading it, maybe. Or I guess he's still reading it, so... He, he must. He, he opened it half a minute ago. Yeah. Let's jump back to XUDYH's screen. Mm. Uh, yeah, still debugging a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, I mean, of the people who have the heart open, do, who do you think will eventually get it? I think XUGYH is my pick. Do you um, think anybody else will also get it? Lyrically is, is another one. Uh, possibly Omnic as well. I mean, it looked like Omnic was, oh, yeah, Omnic, was still we didn't thinking see about code it. Yeah, from Maybe code. switch to Omnic's so, screen and see if he started coding. Um, yeah, so yeah, he's he getting started. started. Um, Get for angle. That's that's a good start. <laughs> <laughs> but well, you need for sure at least twenty five minutes, let's say, to yeah. implement this. Yeah, and plus, I mean, it could be a lot worse. Like we're saying, if you have bugs, you so have to fix them. That's twenty two yeah. minutes and are good. Like barely enough if you get everything right for the first time. Mm -hmm. You yeah. cannot make mistakes. Which is pretty. It's, I mean, I imagine you're gonna have to be writing like 200 or 300 <laughs> lines of code for this. So. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a lot to get right on I the first try. I think I'm I'm short of 200 lines in my code, oh. not counting, of course, the uh, so library functions. Okay, so with the library, how much are we talking? <laughs> uh, not a lot. I think I have only 100 lines of my library because okay. I just need some basic functions for point, like rotating by angle, sure. getting angle. Yeah. Actually, maybe I don't do that. I don't get angle. And intersecting two segments. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Of course, in basic, there are things like cross product that are very useful, but that's, that should be it. Intersecting lines is the hardest thing there, and rotating by an angle. Yeah, yeah. And we were saying this, but geometry in particular, I mean, like a lot of it is like building off of your standard tools, so it does help. And I imagine all eight of these contestants have a book that they go to just as far as um, yeah, pre geometry. Geometry, geometry is, I think, hated by a lot of people. <laughs> because of the programming. Do you think People're that it's a bad? It, do you think that it's a bad choice <laughs> for how I'm, this I'm too biased important? in this yeah. fight. Too, I mean, uh, you're, you're uh, one of these people who hate <laughs> geometry. I absolutely <laughs> despise geometry. Yeah, I, I think. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think basically, I, I just think that we have so many exciting topics around, you know, combinatorics, graphs, dynamic programming. You don't like geometry that. Problems. But uh, yeah, like th th I think geometry has a lot of cool ideas, plus a lot of I think like, the, the thinking part even of this problem is very cool. I agree, I agree. The solution is nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's just hard to get everything. <laughs> or like the idea is nice. The idea. <laughs> the solution I can't speak to. Example one passed, example zero passed. Um, yeah, I mean, he was writing a brute force and it looks like. I, I think that he adjusts his yeah, he main solution. I, I'm of course still cheering for him, yeah, but I mean, he might get tu it, tourist he looks strong. Yeah, yeah. Tourist I mean, at this point, so my prediction was XUDYH, right? Looks like still Ui pretty good about 500. that. It's going to be whether uh, he gets the 1000. Yeah, sorry. Ui just submitted the 500. It's a pretty low score, but let's take a look at his screen. So, but the, the thing right now is that tourist tested his medium a lot, and then he for sure. Then he moved on. Uh, uh, what I mean is that for sure medium is correct if you tested it. Yes. And his medium is enough to win right now. Yes, that's true. Because nobody else has. Yeah, if he only medium. has medium, 
then he'll mm -hmm. win, even if it's easy fails. You both said that easy also is pretty likely to pass, right? So yeah, one, easy is yeah. most likely to pass. Uh, it looks like Ui opened the 250. Um, like, you really don't have enough time to go for the hard, so I think that is the right yes, choice here. It is. Uh, I would, th I think, open both because yeah, now I, you don't care about timers going down. Yeah, you can yeah. only solve one. And then probably. maybe you know hard already. Maybe it looks like an ad hoc problem. Here it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the statement's like three sentences, right? It's very easy to read and well, understand. Maybe somebody would get idea of I need to use center of the mass and then they try to, okay, and then it doesn't work. Right? Without yeah. thinking too much. I mean, I, I think at this point, even if you knew exactly what to do. Like it's very unlikely if you're in 20 minutes. If, if, it was, minutes. if it was if it center of the mass. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think going for the, the easy makes sense here. Um, if Uwe gets the easy with a good time, first of all, he drops into second immediately. But also, I think he gets a chance right, if Torres fails either of the two problems. To, to he doesn't know that Torres will almost for sure pass both easy and easy. Right. Yeah, it looks like we will get Gennady winning. Is that, I, would, is is that that I, I think that's I think still yeah. has a pretty strong yes, chance. That's I actually think lyrically is, is a any hard as well. If the second and third place get the hard, then so Piotr is already working on, uh, for yeah, some time in cards. Can, can we jump to? Piotr. And he's implementing something. We yes. see Aria. <laughs> we have some number of iterations. What means binary search? Yes, it looks like he's just finding cuts right now. Um, but yeah, it does. Not too sure. It's it is a lot of code, and right he, now it's only he's running second. something right now. Right? Yeah, he's I debugging see. maybe his area, like finding the slope. Because there's a lot of sub problems, and you can test a lot of sub problems sequentially. I did the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for me, implementing went smoothly. I didn't have big bugs. Maybe some something didn't work, and I wasted extra five minutes. But I couldn't for a long time come up with a solution. For me, the mm -hmm. thinking part was very hard. I knew what roughly should be done. Mm -hmm. But couldn't get the details. Makes sense. Yeah, I, I think it's it's a lot of parts of the problem, right? Like implementation, having the right uh, just knowledge, and then also figuring out the idea. So it, it's it's kind of all three components, and I can definitely imagine. We considered increasing points for hard, mm -hmm. but then the question is, do we want to say that hard is better than easy plus medium, mm -hmm. and that is true? Yeah, I think that we didn't want the gap between hard and yeah. medium to be too big because otherwise. Hard is always, always going to be better than easy medium, even if you solve yeah. fast. But we yes. wanted it to be like a choice that you had to But make. still, somebody, s people shouldn't win contests just by knowing maybe one problem or yeah. getting just this mm -hmm. thing right. Uh -huh. So perfectly. You should try to solve two, mm -hmm. at least. Yeah. Yeah. Easy plus medium, especially because they are not easy, as we see from the leaderboard. Right. They should be better than hard. That's fair. I, I think that's a strong case. Yeah. Let's take a look at XGGYH again. You know? Coming up to the last 15 minutes of the contest here. Yeah, still a lot of debugging uh, code on his screen. I see a line 10 is equal to 3.14. <laughs> it's yes. a dollar nine, dollar 10. Yeah. So is he, writing, is he fighting for the first place right now or yes. second one? First place. He has the second, uh, the second fastest medium right now. Okay. And so. if he does get the heart, even at the very end of the contest, he'll, he should jump above tourists. Because he just needs like 350 points, right? Yeah, and so the heart can only go down to like Actually, 300. even if he gets heart correct, like 5 or 10 minutes before the end, yeah, I think it's optimal good. for him to Two. test it till the last minute. Yes. To try to find mistakes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. because he can resubmit and it's still fine. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Yeah. I uh, mean, he shouldn't even submit like he, 5 he minutes before. Wait. Why? Oh, I, I see, did, I see. Yeah. He, yeah, he can yeah. always wait. There's no point in getting more points. Yeah. I mean, the other thing, too, is honestly, like we were saying with the medium, he had to resubmit, right? Oh, maybe yes. at this point he's sure, but you have that, that question, too. That's yeah. a big one. I mean, maybe he has some challenges ready for that also. So mm -hmm. uh, we did see we have four submissions on the medium, so like those could get challenged potentially. Um, I mean, we can go back to lyrically uh, and see if there's any more progress? <laughs> Looks like no. I want to say this is going to be a submission, actually. No, it's just testing. Like the areas aren't equal. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, well, something is wrong. Yeah, and some more debugging. <laughs> it's very hard. Increase iterations on binary search or decrease. I don't think the we, time was the issue. We don't see here copy pasted like big geometry library. I think. 
that, that's a bad sign too, a bad sign. Mm -hmm. Actually, MNBV Mer still works on uh, medium yeah, after medium. submitting easy, Go back. so he might jump into second place. Mm -hmm. That's true. Because he he's the only, he might be the only one now not fighting for not fighting for card. Um, Ui could also jump to second with an yeah. easy submission. Okay. Ui is doing the same in the other direction, and then Yegor I think is just looking at the 500. But Ui is, is still looking at the problem, yeah. and this one requires some implementation. Yeah. It um, might be hard to get that right in the last 10 minutes. That's true. But he's starting, to starting DP. Or maybe just writing some notes, I don't know, it's hard to say. Do you ever write notes in the editor? Um, if you, I sometimes put something as a comment. Uh, I usually just write it down. Comments. I just write it down. Sometimes an inequality uh, mm -hmm. that I will, anyway, in the next line, transform into like something about the vision. Yeah, or even we were saying to do. I do that sometimes. Like, you know, you you know that you need to use a sec tree here. So yeah. You just put to do and then finish the rest and then you go back. Yeah, that's true. Uh, you yeah. have to be careful not to forget the to do's. <laughs> or maybe you can just leave them in. Yeah, yeah. Leave just, the comments. Just I, try the word to do. I try to use warnings. Oh, yes, this warnings. hash so warning. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's then the compiler idea. warns me that <laughs> I, I have a to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> We, we can cycle through some more screens, maybe uh, Fyodor, we haven't seen in a Fyodor, while. then maybe Yegor. Yeah. Uh, fighting, so, fighting for that hard problem. Unlikely so for sure, but if Fyodor comes in with a 1000 right now, he's actually going to pass towards two problems. But I don't think he's close. I mean, he could get it by the end of the contest, and that ah, could get yeah. him like second. But mm -hmm. I don't know if he's going to make it in time to be tourist. Maybe within a challenge. Um, that's true. You know what would be very nice if tourist got in now enough time to solve hard. Oh yes, if tourist <laughs> and is able to solve the hard. If he gets three problems and wins with second place having only one problem, <laughs> yeah. that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> that's huge, huge. Uh, yeah, Igor's working on the medium. Uh, looks like he has some code down that is but a little bit different. He, he didn't solve easy. Right. He didn't solve easy, so he okay. skipped the easy. He's, he, I think he had a solution, but he couldn't debug it because it wasn't matching samples, so he didn't bother to submit. And so he fights for maybe top three, but yeah. likely not a win. Yeah, probably not a win with this. It's a sad feeling during the finals or some other important round where you already see that like first place is not <laughs> in your reach. Like, of course, I know the feeling. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, oh, yes, yeah. Like, Especially because in top coder I start from a health problem. <laughs> <laughs> I really know the feeling. But this yeah. round would have been good for you if you started in the heart first. Is you are yes, better at your I, I think that starting from heart would be nice for me, and maybe I would get it correct in uh, in eighty five minutes. But likely I wouldn't have enough yeah, time to solve anything else. Yeah, that's true. So, but also this is because geometry is like my favorite topic. Uh, it looks so like XUDYH gave up on the 1000 and moved on to the easy instead in the last 10 minutes. So he can still overtake tourists if he solves the easy. He needs to be very, very fast for yeah. the easy. He needs to be like 330. I mean, how long did it take for tourists to submit? Like 280 is like but, about 15 minutes but or We see here four, say, yeah. 43 points. Uh, on medium, advantage of the medium, to, uh, to 80 plus 43 is 3 to 3. Three to yeah. Three. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's very fast. That's like yeah. within like five, six minutes or so. Yeah, five minutes sounds right. Yeah, yeah. so I think with this, I mean, this particular possible. problem, I mean, there's a, enough implementation. Like, I, I have but a lot of confidence should, that he'll solve the problem. But shouldn't he then enough. switch to this easy just five minutes before the end? <laughs> maybe <laughs> with the hard, I mean, he, he just realizes he did see the scores for the easy. So maybe he's like, okay, I, I should give myself 10 minutes because Taurus took 15 minutes. I guess the other, I mean, the other piece, you don't really have to outright pass Taurus right now, right? If you're close enough, one challenge is going to be enough to do it. So yeah. I, I mean, think that it's also matter. possible he did salt the heart and he's just holding on to it. <laughs> but with, with so few submissions there, uh -huh. there won't be many challenges. Uh, Successful there's, there's challenges. There's enough, right? Like, I mean, x 2 out of everybody, knows that it's possible to get the 500 wrong. Right? Yeah. He had to resubmit yeah. himself. Yeah, so so he might I, I think he knows that there's a possibility. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and plus, we could see last minute submissions from like Igor or um, MMB Vivar. And if they haven't stressed us against a brute force, like those are more successful to the challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Lyrically still working on the heart. 
not it doesn't seem like that making too much it's progress. quite inconvenient to work without tools nowadays because locally you just can click something and you will get that output it's here we see running every time in arena <laughs> yeah. I'm a big fan of, of no tools and running things in the arena. I, I think it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just nice to stay close to the, yeah. the template. I mean, I think geometry is probably the, the, the particular topic I, where it's the worst. I but. think geometry is the only topic that I wouldn't want to do in arena. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks so, like Evan BD Mars running test. So running through force. I don't know if, yeah, is this still the I mean, he's, like, he's printing out both numbers, so they're all matching right now. Oh wow, interesting. Uh, so the, maybe he will submit soon. Yeah, we see uh, see outing both and then assert that they are equal. So that should be a submit. Maybe. I mean, he could just iterate through all the strings, but he's not doing that right now. Yeah, it's more time consuming to implement that. Yeah. I would submit now. Yeah, if it's matching against that many cases. Should I shout to him? <laughs> Marek, submit. <laughs> yeah, he might submit soon, then that means he'll get to second place? If, yeah, he'll be in second and he'll if, be in position. If Radeusz is in Twitch chat, then for sure he is right now saying, Marek, submit. <laughs> I know that. So Taurus is actually going to try for the 1000. Yeah, he's actually coding <laughs> something. We don't see a lot here. It's not that much code and there's only 8 minutes I, left. So. I think the only thing that he can possibly try is something incorrect. And that's it. <laughs> I mean, and by that I mean, for example, trying to uh, find that middle point with climbing up the hill, some gradient lessons, uh, something that is not intended, but uh -huh. would be simpler. Right. Can we jump back to M and BVMR because we might see summit? And no, he did. Oh, he did summit. Yeah. So, so yeah, moves up to second place. Actually, yeah. Um, not too far ahead of XUDYH, like two times. But, but enough. Yeah, but enough. Yeah. Oh, Lyric 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 Okay, now much you can There's do. not too much going for you. Only seven <laughs> minutes fine. to code this. Do you think that she passed samples at all? <laughs> or just I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure she did. Oh, she, she opens both Open problems, both actually. Problems. Yeah, I that's, think that that's, that's a good strategy, yeah. yeah. Okay. Just take a look at categories and choose the one that you think is better for you, slash you can do it possibly in seven minutes. Yeah. Also looking from the... Honestly, I think 500 is probably more likely. Yeah, 500 yes, is a lot less code. Uh, actually, it might be easier to solve 500 when opening statement seven minutes before the end because oh, you just have you enough time you have to, to have a few the easiest things. and that is just enough in this problem yeah <laughs> and it could be right because like the actual code is very short for the medium um yeah so we, we see some easy. library functions uh, <laughs> in the background like chair tree i saw yeah dynamic convex <laughs> Uh, find expectation. Looks like a four-dimensional DP. <laughs> so a little bit complicated. MNBVMR wouldn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but he did solve the easy. The, com only the complexity is fine. Yeah. There's only one or two people who solved it, even though he doesn't like it. <laughs> it doesn't have that many dimensions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It gets exponentially harder with each dimension. <laughs> Yeah, we might see some more last-minute submissions, and we can go through more screens. Yeah, let's let's look at MMBB more actually, because he's not opening the one thousand. I mean, at this point, he knows he's not going to get it, but he should still open seems, it, right? Just yeah. to like know what the problem is. Yep, and I, I think, I the think he's preparing he's for the control. challenge phase yeah, already. He's challenge. modifying his code so that he could run it locally and experiment a little bit, or maybe testing some more. But that is, well, he still has time to resubmit. Yes, that's true. So uh, you might just be doing some last minute checks. Yeah. Do you do either of you think that the one thousand will have challenge potential, or do you think that if you pass the samples, uh, we might get some blind challenges with a large irregular case? Yes, just it's very easy to do it's something. Very easy to, like, yeah. break it. But if you pass, do we have any polygons with n bigger than four? Uh, in the sample, yeah. I don't think so. Or they're like five. if there are only tri triangles <laughs> and a square. <laughs> I think there's a pentagon, a regular pentagon, okay. a non-regular pentagon. In because the thing with polygons is that uh, when you, for example, intersect line with this polygon, you need to find something in circ circular manner 
-hmm. and then you might make some mistake that for triangle it would still work. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Especially when you split the two sides because then you have a layer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's you need in particular there a function that given two diagonals, mm -hmm. they will compute the area of this one quarter. Right. And there is a place for mistakes there. Yeah, that's but true. I'm giving like 90% that if you pass samples, you pass everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. So easy and hard then probably more likely to, to pass than not, yeah. whereas medium is a lot of opportunity for challenges. Especially, yeah, I mean, a lot of the third people angle, submitted... I think we see third oh. binary search. Okay. Well, I, I hope minutes, that they are yeah. nested. Hopefully this is okay. 100 iterations. Yeah, I mean... The the, 100 okay. might be too, too, too many. But he always because <laughs> adjusts it since it's a constant. Okay. okay. <laughs> so 100 cubic. Yeah, 100 cubic times 50. Times 50, 50 is in, in, with, with geometry. With right. geometry that is quite heavy because there it's you will intersect sta something, you know, rotate by angle. Mm -hmm. All of those are heavy operations, like cosinus. I think you can do log squared, right? I don't think you have to do log cubed. Like one of the logs can be removed because you can do the two. So like the, the um, you have two logs for the searches, right? I think first log is for the first angle. Yeah. Second logarithm is that you binary search for some angle to get the second diagonal. Yeah. And third is that helper function that given angle, it will give you what is the, the area. Uh, like the diagonal and the area. Yeah. And you need some, if you just implement that, it's like cubic times n, but you can pre-process something for this polygon exactly. in order yeah. to have log square times and in brackets log plus n. <laughs> <laughs> but but, yeah, I don't I think mean, that anybody think has time for that. <laughs> it's, it's easier yeah. to decrease the number of iterations from 100 to 50. Sure. Yeah. I, but I, I do think, because, like, I mean, we're talking about operations inside. Like, the things that are inside all three of the logs, I actually don't think are that intensive. Uh, what do we have there? Yeah, indeed, we just compute the, the cross products, or we intersect the line with just two segments. Yeah. And for everything else in the middle, we just take yeah, something for area. Yeah. Uh, but also, First, I linearly find those segments for with which we intersect. That's some cross products and ifs. It's not very heavy, but also not trivial. Sure. Uh, sure. Much heavier than just iterating the array and summing numbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, 100. It does seem kind of borderline, but yeah, obviously, if you can change it to 80 or 60, if yeah, you can always change it. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe you can go back. Even for triangle, he can running anything locally. He will see that it's too slow. Uh -huh. He can just decrease the. You can always adjust it. Yeah. Two uh, minutes left. No, yeah, uh, two minutes computer. left and still coding. Um, yeah, it's not clear if you'll make it because there's not that much time. Maybe you can cycle through some other screens, like uh, maybe lyrically, if uh, you can see. It. Yeah, she started on uh, the medium problem. Yeah, the code is pretty short, um, so there might be a last submission from there. Um, <laughs> drawing, drawing some so th this is preparing for the challenge phase. Oh, yes. For sure, we see here some sets of almost collinear points, and uh, he will just gather those coordinates and then put them as a test. Yeah, and that's like a good blind challenge, probably. We don't know. Maybe if he sees something suspicious, then he will just paste this oh, strongest yes. test that he could create in advance, mm -hmm. or maybe he has some particular challenge in mind. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. Do you think uh, that there are possible issues with precision? With precision. Uh, not really. Uh, I think we all the numbers that we deal with have the same magnitude, more or less. Mm -hmm. It's not that we subtract two numbers. There is huge cancellation error in programming where uh, if you have two big, say, positive numbers and you subtract them, you might get a very small number, but the error is dependent on those big numbers. We don't have anything like that here. Yeah. Yeah, the reason I ask is because, I mean, you were saying like almost parallel lines, right? And yeah. I imagine one of the reasons you might want to try that is because you think there's precision issues. And in that uh, case, something weird could happen. But I think uh, just may not be the case this time. May I understand the, the oh, reason. cannot connect to Apple. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. He probably got disconnected from Top Coder. <laughs> but uh, yeah, not sure. Because there's only like less than a 30 there seconds There are two left. different Wi-Fi's. Uh, like, <laughs> oh, submission. Submission. For the hard cake, yeah. So he did. He did hold on Whoa. to his heart. That's interesting. 
I mean, like that. that First or second is before the end. I think that wow. does kind of make sense to make it look like. But he, he opened easy. easy. Okay. Yeah, because like he was going to submit the heart at the end. Did anyways. we see that? I, I wonder how intentional this was, by the way. Where yeah, next yeah. Ujulich is exactly like just over fifty points above Taurus, which oh, means that like Taurus gets one challenge. Still oh, not very nice. Yeah. Oh, another submit. Oh, wow. oh, 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 so Piotr oh, 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 also wow. submitted last round. Yeah. <laughs> So you see three last second submissions. So uh, I, I think Evan BB Mars 1000 case is going to be I'm, on. <laughs> I think that because Petr's submission was very last second. It's possible it wasn't even I think he didn't second. compile or anything. Yeah. yeah, he probably didn't. Like He ran on samples, but the samples, like you have to like so write the custom checker. Right? I think that if somebody needs plus 50, They'll then do, they should go, go to for Peter Peter. I think yeah. Omnic should do that right now, as, as soon as the last time. Yeah. yeah. Also, did, did maybe Omnic? Do that? Yeah, also a lot I mean, second. maybe Omnic did it so that other people would be looking at his solution instead yeah, and give him time. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I think a lot of potential. I think if you're a tourist, you know that. Uh, Intermission is 15 minutes, not five. It should just be five. Uh, maybe it's longer here. No, I, I, it should be five. It minutes. should just be five. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Adjust for the time duration. Wait. I oh, don't know. I don't know what the time correction is. I maybe, don't know. Maybe some people got disconnected, so like people got some yeah extra time yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you're Charles, you know that you know you're gonna have to make some challenges yeah, to beat, or you're gonna have to rely on the one thousands to fail. So I think it's very reasonable to just go for challenges. Yeah. Um, this yeah. does change a lot of the strategy, a lot of the last minute submits. So I will leave, I will leave you now for ten minutes because I have a flight in like half an hour. Well, oh, taxi wow. to the airport. Oh, I will okay. be back for challenge phase because I want to see the challenge phase. <laughs> <laughs> so see you in ten minutes. All right. Okay. Yeah. See you. Well, or you may cut. Yeah, we could also take a break right now. If intermission. Yeah. Let's take uh, a break. Is intermission three minutes or thirteen? It looks like it's yeah, three it on our screen, here. but maybe that's that's. Uh, I, I think that the, it is actually 13. So yeah, we'll, we'll take a quick break. We'll be back in like 10 minutes uh, before the challenge phase gets started.
All right, welcome back. We're about to get started challenge phase in two more minutes. So just a quick update, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Some of the submissions scores were, were changed a little bit to reflect the longer timing. Um, the big thing that you'll notice as a result of that is that one and two have switched places, right? Omnic um, used to be like two or three points behind XGDIH and now is four points ahead. Um, definitely gonna make a big difference. But um, yeah, I mean, pretty, uh, Pretty big roller coaster at the end there. Yeah, right? a lot of three 1, last minute submissions within like the last thirty seconds. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of leaderboard movement. We'll see if any of the hearts hold. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So we were talking about possibility for fails on medium. Uh, a lot of last minute hearts that maybe weren't even tested at all. Yeah. Right? So, so like, maybe they don't even compile on the computer, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. So um, if you're Taurus, what are you thinking here? So, yeah. I mean, I guess the intermission was a bit longer, so I would have more time to look at the hard and like try to figure out maybe some corner cases, mm -hmm. um, especially since there are a lot of last minute submissions. So um, he was working on the hard already in the last uh, half hour of the contest. Right. So he already like, has familiar familiarity with the problems. Um, so he might focus on the hards, at least last minute submission ones. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I imagine that's the same for a lot of the other contestants because there were three last minute submissions and last minute submissions are a little bit more likely to be incorrect mm -hmm. uh, because you don't have as much time to test them. Makes sense, makes um, sense. Yeah, so let's jump into Taurus's, Taurus's screen and see what's going on there. Um, honestly, a lot of the contestants here can still win this, especially if there's a lot of fails, right? Who knows? Uh, <laughs> XMDYH testing the top. Yeah, who knows what could happen, right? I mean, you could even see scenarios where, let's say, MNBB more wins because... Yeah, it looks like he does have a challenge case. Um, but uh, we switched from the screen too fast. Or it was in another tab. All right, we're about to roll in 10 seconds. Yeah, see we're about to start. So let's first. go back to the leaderboard so we can see if there's any blind challenges within the first few seconds. Um, yeah, I would imagine most people would just start by opening the heart. The 10 minute long challenge phase of an algorithm competition has begun. Um, yeah, there are. Just I, getting underway. I imagine people are looking through submissions frantically. Yeah. A defense uh, for XUDYH, that's held that's up. That's good. Tourists actually challenged that. Tourists went that for might a challenge. Have been a but a defense is a very good sign because yeah. like, if you have a large polygon and it works, then that's very exactly. good. Yeah, like we were saying, right? There's not too much more, so, there's not too many edge So people might not it. be willing to challenge XUDYH's problem, mm -hmm. but the I other three hearts well. are I'm actually, up for grabs. I'm surprised that no one's challenged Piotr or Omnic, yeah. right? I would think that there's so much Piotr and Omnic, oh, wow, a lot of three challenges. Ones. Literally so, actually challenged two of them. Literally took down two 1000s, Piotr took down the third. Literally um, actually challenged XUDYH. <laughs> So, so Taurus now, I mean, he has one round challenge, <laughs> but actually after all this, he's back on top. Yeah. I wonder, um, I mean, is Piotr or up. someone else going to come back and challenge lyrically, right? Because oh, yes, that's, that's true. You know, lyrically three actually moves to second yeah. with all the challenges, right? You can see right, the additional. Oh, wow. And lyrically falls to, to Piotr. Um, so at this so. point, just 250s and 500s. A yeah. few more minutes left. I, we were saying a lot of yeah. these 500s could we're fail, right? 500s so could fail. Let's take a look at uh, XUDYH's screen. It looks like he's looking at the mediums. At yeah, mediums are the correct choice to look at at this point. I don't yeah. think EZs are likely to fail. Mm -hmm. um, but medium does take a bit more time to read because it is a lot of like if this like if statements and so on. Yeah, yeah, a lot of logic to. So to like, if you just miss a case, well. you have to like look out for the missing case. Yeah, I mean, kind of funny that the, the two contestants that made all these challenges, they're better, <laughs> actually both didn't solve any problems yeah. themselves. So they're both sitting with 100 flat, and that's uh, yeah, that's true. That's and, but they're still behind true. anybody who solved any problems. Exactly, exactly, yeah. Um, yeah, but... Yeah, what uh, about a Taurus screen? Let's take a look there. Yeah, that's the Taurus. Yeah, looking at mediums. They're looking at mediums, yeah. Yeah, to be fair, I mean, there weren't any, like, last, last minute mediums, I think, so probably most of the contestants who submitted medium got the chance to, to take a look at yes yeah. right uh, especially like we saw a lot of people writing brute forces sort of medium yeah so yeah most of us are probably it seems like xgd white h as well so yeah yeah so those are probably a little bit more solid um, there weren't any last minute submissions for the medium so you might not see any of those blind challenges there Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, if there's no big changes to the scoreboard at this point, this might be a wrap for, for Torres. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, um, yeah, Torres is much farther ahead than anybody else, so um, it seems unlikely he'll drop unless one of his two problems fail. Mm -hmm. um, and MMBV are still looking good at his position. Are you um, surprised to see all these 1000s failing? Like, did you think that? Um, 
I that, I think possible. that is somewhat expected. Like it is a very tricky problem, and there are some corner cases mm-hmm. um, to deal with. Um, yeah, it does take a lot of code to solve, so it's very easy to make a small bug, mm-hmm. um, and especially if you're just testing like large random cases, then. Um, yeah. yeah. So if there's a bug, you people. can definitely find it for sure with a large red Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's true. Hmm. And, uh, yeah, let's jump to MMBV more screen. Yeah. So I, I think if, if you're Merrick, what you're thinking, right, is if Torus fails either of these two problems. Oh, looks like he's actually there. coding some of the other people's solutions uh-huh. and running against it the It looks like test. he's running Torus, actually, yeah. which is surprising to me. Because um, I don't think he needs to do that, right? Yeah, if, if Torres fails, fails yeah, he doesn't need. Then he ends up on top of both these. Uh, but it looks like that strategy of just typing the other competitor's code and mm-hmm. running against your own stress test is a good idea um, just to be sure that you get the challenge. It's hard to read the code and figure out what exactly is going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and if you can type it that fast, right? Then, yeah. then that's good enough to roll. Uh, XCDYH has. Uh, is looking. Looks like he's also typing somebody else's code. Uh, oh, this is Ui's trying to hack XUDYH. Oh, interesting, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because he still has that comment from before. Um, <laughs> so oh, maybe, that was in the submission. Yeah, because that was in his resubmit. So uh-huh. he might think that's right. a bit fishy, so he's going to try to code it up and run against his free force. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow, oh, defense for tourists. Who was the challenger? Oh, MMVBR. So. Yeah, so and then Vivi Mark tried try to challenge tourists easy. Yeah. Or, um, yeah, easy. It actually did hold up. Is that right? Is that easy yeah, or that's medium? easy, I think. I think the defense sign is on the right. Because when XCDYH got challenged, it was on the right. Uh huh. I see. I see. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Let's um, jump back to MNBV Mark's screen. I wonder if there's something that he feels like is wrong. Um, I mean,. If he wrote the code himself and it doesn't match, then that's that's yeah, interesting, that's right? True. And maybe that means that he fails. He, he I, made it I think I missed something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> missed a little something. Yeah, you missed something. a little bit. About <laughs> the first minute, we had four challenges on all of the 1,000. Um, we've seen a, a couple of pretty interesting defenses to yeah. to tourists uh, on the easy, or maybe it was a medium. I'm not sure. These, uh, yeah, Merrick had the medium open, so it's not clear why he would challenge it easy. Right, so if you're Taurus here, what do you go for? Do you try to... I mean, he's a lot... He's Maybe let's get the leaderboard still. Yeah, let's jump yeah, back yeah. to the leaderboard. Maybe we can look at Taurus. He's still looking at medium challenges. So I think, I mean, one, one way to think about it is, too. hey, if you fail the, the easy, then you have 399, right? So one more challenge would make sure that you don't even need the easy to pass. Uh, and a wrong challenge, obviously, isn't going to do him too much harm. So that, that, could be, that could be what he's thinking right now. Yeah, if his easy fails, he needs one challenge to submit the lead. Uh, let's take a look at XUGYH's screen. Okay, it sounds like he's, uh, the screen is off or we, we don't have it just oh, now. Okay. But uh, okay, th- in that case, what about Yui? Yui was typing up XUGYH's code. Uh-huh. Um, so he By the way, I wonder what that means for Merrick. Merrick literally typed up Taurus the solution. He submitted a challenge. Yeah, the challenge so maybe his free force is wrong. Does, maybe, <laughs> yeah, maybe his, his own submission is wrong. Is that, yeah. Maybe the so. organizer's submission is wrong. <laughs> yes, that's true. Uh, it might mean that he made the typo just retyping it. I think that's the most common mistake. Yeah, definitely. Or he missed some defined int long long at the very top. You know, stuff oh, like yes. That. Yeah. yeah. There's always some macros that you can miss. Uh-huh. Camille, what do you think about all of the 1000s going down? Is that surprising to you? Uh, well, by the way, we have now, right now on the screen that shit comment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I think that's why we I expected like around. Well, everything that was submitted in last minute was, you know, like being tested, stuff yeah. like that. I expected the one that is not from the last minute, so the one by Europe, mm-hmm. I think, uh, to pass. But also, I understand that. You can make, you can get a lot of things wrong in this problem. Mm. Makes sense. Two more minutes to go. Um, yeah, I mean, it seems like not too many challenges attempted on the 500. I think we were saying there was possibility of failure, but maybe all the contestants were, were just careful enough to make sure yeah. that they if didn't have If you write the brute force, then you're more likely to be correct. Mm. So likely no more correct sub- correct challenges. But maybe we'll see some incorrect ones just because strategically it might make sense. Yeah. We only right. have about two minutes left at the challenge phase, so not that much time. Uh, yeah, Marek's still looking at other people's mediums. 
still running the brute force, trying to find a counter case. Another, another counter test. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he called an array Mark. Oh, Mark. Mark. That is Sokolovsky. <laughs> and we. <laughs> oh, and, and Mark. <laughs> like he's not yeah he didn't find any counter cases so uh, it doesn't look like he's in a challenge just gonna quickly look over at tourist code probably no, tourist is screen yeah tourist is looking at Merrick see <laughs> 500 pointers yeah I guess it's easy to go not easy but it's possible to just go through people's 500 pointers and hope for some mistake in logic. Plus, of course, hoping that they didn't test their solution correctly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. Most people have tested those, so uh, yeah, it might be less likely for any of those to fail. 55 seconds, will we see? Yeah, should, will we see any last minute? Should somebody blind, uh, blind challenge? I think Umnik um, should, um, Umnik should um, find yeah, for top three, case, and he yeah. isn't hurt at all. Right. I mean, unless somebody from top two. Uh, gets down to around. I think even then, it's if tourists medium fails, then yes, still. It should still be fine. I yeah. think Omnic should. I actually think Taurus should go for one as well. Um, oh, oh. Defense. oh, wow. That's oh, from Piotr. Piotr challenged MMBB Mars 250, I believe. Or actually, maybe this is fine. Maybe this is the 500. Okay, so he charged, challenged MMBB Mars 500 and it didn't work out. Do you find it funny that two people that made each to correct? Um, challenging attempts, they both have zero points. Yeah, they both oh, have yeah. zero. And I mean, they also both challenged each other. Right? Yeah, they challenged <laughs> each other. Yeah. All the 1000s came in at the last second, and it seems like all of those. I mean, tourists to and Rand, some make. one last second things. The algorithm competition is now complete. The system testing will now be So that's all for us, but there still is a system testing phase. I believe that'll happen actually at the award ceremony. Um, so we'll we'll have to wait about an hour before we get to see this. But uh, we're gonna wrap up here. Yeah. Uh, anything else you guys wanted to say? It was a very interesting. Yeah, the last few seconds was today. Just crazy. <laughs> all right, so so stay tuned. We'll uh, we'll have the award ceremony real soon, and then we'll we'll get to see the results. Yeah. All right. All right. Bye. Bye.